again. Welcome to the Sneaker Files podcast. I'm your host, Eugene. You can find us online at www.sneakerfiles, spelled with a P H I L E S, dot com. You can find us on Twitter at Sneaker Files, and you can find us on Instagram at Sneaker Files underscore podcast. Uh, once again, we are recording live from Stay Fresh, located in Richmond, BC, Canada's premier sneaker boutique consignment store. Uh, you can find them at www.stayingfresh.ca. Quick thing I want to address is um, I've been trying to upload more shit on YouTube lately. Mm -hmm. So I recently uploaded a video asking for content creators out there to hit me up um, to maybe help us distribute some of your work so that we can uh, feature your work on our website like i can't guarantee you guys it will be like crazy popular and famous all the, overnight but that's my job <laughs> but we can guarantee that we will talk about your work once Job's it's already taken once it's published on our website you will get like tens of thousands of people that will hear your yeah. existence at least right so um if you're interested into in creating content for our website at sneakerfiles.com then just hit us up at sneakerfiles <laughs> at gmail.com. I don't use That's email. It. So, <laughs> so I, I'm not uh, too familiar with it. A uh, couple more things I would like to talk about is uh, um, I would like to thank Hype Soul Cartel for mm -hmm. hosting a basketball tournament that we were able to participate in. And uh, if you want to see nice. how the Sneaker Files team did, you can check our uh, little coverage uh, video on YouTube as well. And it's just Sneaker Files basketball team, whatever vlog thingy. I, I won't spoil how we did, but we played hard, okay? And uh, let's get the show started. Uh, to my right, we got Joe. Hey, Joe. Two two recordings in a row, Joe. Yeah, it's crazy. My God. What's that all about? <laughs> Iron going, Man. He's going for the Iron Man. <laughs> Iron Man 2.0. Anything new? Nope. Hey, what do you got on foot today? Nope. <laughs> you don't want to talk about it? <laughs> Boosting. Parley, we go. Those Ultra are Boost, so nice. Broke so my wearing, Boost Cherry. Popped the Boost so Cherry. Nice. How do you feel about uh, the the Boost technology? The now? Boost is a sweet, sweet ride. You were uh, not the m biggest spokesperson for the Boost technology for the longest time, right? No, I just didn't have any. Well, yeah. there's a reason why you didn't have any. Yep. What was that? Everyone else had them. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hypeless. So Anyways, hot. so hypeless. Uh, quick, I don't know, like. 30 second review of the 10 shoe. second review. Okay. Great ride, great cause, recycled plastic from the ocean, and great cause. <laughs> Color. Excellent. That, you got the nice the, one too, the, the white with baby blue yeah. colorway. I like that. It's all right. All right. Anything, Big fan. Anything else you want to cover before we move on? Um, no. Okay. Well, <laughs> to your right then. It's Jason. Hey, Jason. What's up, boys? What's going on? Women, girls, whatever. Everyone. Everybody. 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 What's up, y'all? How's it going? How, how do you so, feel after the basketball game? Uh, Good. I, I know me little... and you probably play the least regular out of the four of us. Oh, yes, yeah. So how did you feel like immediately after the tournament? Uh, I, I felt a little um, sore. But not, not as bad as I thought I was going to be, to be honest. Like I was telling Joe before so, the recording, good. every time something like this happens in my life, like someone invites me to do something physical... The day after is when I realize how old my body is. <laughs> yep. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. As in, I'm like, still a little bit sore today, but I'm, I'm just like, whatever. I'm 90% now. Age. Nice. But I was like 10% 10, 10 the day after. <laughs> really? Like that bad? Like I was going to say like on my best day, I'm like 80%. Great. So <laughs> if I get back to 80%, you're, that's you're really already awesome. at a handicap. So you're at 100% yeah. of what your normal 80% is. You know? Yeah. <laughs> if you want to you Fair enough. Split, split Fair hairs. Enough. Yeah. So but I, I think the key is that we need to practice. Well, maybe you and I need to practice. Yeah, practice. these guys are fine. Yeah, these guys are fine. These are fine. Well, what are you talking about? I blew... No, no, we were pretty good. I blew two wide open layups. I but, shot like LeVar Ball the first and game. And Pierre <laughs> played harder when he refed. So. <laughs> wow. Actually, he took a back seat when he refed. Yeah, and he disappeared when their conflict almost started. Yeah, That's another a little story. I was yeah. there. Don't worry. I was telling the guy to You're in the parking in. lot. He was putting <laughs> the gloves on. He was, put, he was going to get gloves on. He was in a fetal position. <laughs> I went to go to the church to pray. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you ran across the street. Here, baby Jesus, Jesus, tell me what I'm going to do next. <laughs> Santa Maria. <laughs> so everything everything is well with uh, Jason there? Yep. Everything is uh, A-OK. Anything else we need to cover before we move on? No. All right, then. To your right, we got... <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Pierre. How's it going? Are you talking to me or... No, oh, there's the, the army. Oh. He's talking to Coco, but... <laughs> the, 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 the army. army. <laughs> the, Every... the Pierre army. Every the organization that what has... What are your followers called? 
what are our followers called? No, no, no. Strictly just Pierre followers called. I don't know. I I, I think they're I called never... Pierre's. Lucky's. Pierre's. No, I want something cool. That's not cool. No, that's not. Like Kendra Lust is. Kendra... Oh, yeah, Who's yeah, that? Know. Kendra Lust is a famous porn star. Yeah, I'm gonna Google that right now. She has yeah. what the Lustries? No, the Lust Army. Oh, that's the Lust so Army. Yeah, okay, no. yeah, I know. Really really lame, actually. Actually. What else is there? There's uh. Yours your, is gonna be like. This. We gotta have a name for us. Someone. How about the Pierre Posse? No, let's let's not make it about me. Let's make. About the sneaker file files? <laughs> uh, I don't yeah. have no fans. The sneaker filiacs. Oh. Sneaker filiacs, that's pretty good. <laughs> right, and yeah. kind of gross. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's exactly why I chose that <laughs> word. Hem- hemorrhage everywhere. Welcome to the um, sneaker Listeners, come at us. Yeah, Let us know what you, what you want to be called. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, the, it's got to be simple, though. Let's just start be. with the fans. The files? Hopefully fans, not plaintiffs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I, I thought when I came up with the name Sneaker Files for this podcast, I thought it was so fucking like original and creative. And then yeah. like I, I kind of shot myself in the foot because like there's a well established Sneaker Files with an mm-hmm. F, and like the homie homie's been around forever, and he's like super well established, and yeah. he's got like real content and a real following. <laughs> and like people trying to find our podcast don't know how to spell it properly, and I'm like, why did I do this? <laughs> That's the Thanks. <laughs> well, the one thing that you can do is that we can try to leech off some of his. Nope. No. no. <laughs> if anything, do that. if anything, people looking for us yeah. goes right to him. That's true. Yeah. That's true. That is you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna in- in- invite him to the podcast to set the score. Have you guys ever seen the movie Coming to America? Yeah. Yes. With Eddie Murphy. Yes. We are the McDowells to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> It is That's what it good. is. We have our own demographic and brand. Yeah, it's all good. Sneaker Feliacs okay. <laughs> following us. Sneaker Feliacs. Well, like, we'll get a name. We'll, right now, it's a work in progress. How about that? Hey, so Pierre. Yeah. Hey, get it queued up, man. Oh, you want to oh, hear it? Yeah, oh, this is just this so, is just scrapped together. <laughs> to start every episode, we need to kind of free our minds, right? And some of us and the need, rest will follow. Some of yeah. us need to free our minds a little bit more than others. And uh, for that, I would like <laughs> Pierre some to participate. <laughs> Participate in this one game that we've came up with. Okay. Let's do, do it. <laughs> that is awesome. Top top three. <laughs> wow. There we go. <laughs> Top top three. So Pierre's top three. Damn, dude, that that one's pretty good. So uh, that's, not that's not bad. Good job, Joe. I yeah. think I think because uh, we just had a basketball game, uh, <clears throat> a tournament that that's still fresh in our mind. I I'm more invigorated with the sport of basketball more than ever. Okay. So oh, I think is, for I'm a little bit worried about this top one now. three. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay. Please, Pierre. Yes. Give me your top three without thinking too much. Top three basketball uniforms. Oh, oh, I like the Clippers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. The old school Clippers uh, with the, the white and blue. Um, I also Is that like two choices or just one? <laughs> <laughs> no, with the white and the blue trim. I have that jersey. Okay. Uh, I Carry also on. like the uh, the Golden State, the old school Golden State with the, uh, the train. Mining cart? Yeah. Yeah. And also... Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. No, the the Bulls jersey <laughs> yeah, that you had. Totally. Oh, the uh, the Chicago. The yeah, the road jersey. Yeah, eighty three, eighty four road nice. jersey. Those are nice. Is that the pinstripe one or yeah. the red one? The red one. Okay, was, cursive yeah. Chicago. Sure. Do you yeah. remember when the the black pin the, and the red pinstripes came out? How did you guys feel about that? Yeah, I liked it. Mm-hmm. Did you? That it's was like the a... beginning of like the alternate jersey. Alternates, yeah. yes. Yeah. Another cool. way to like oh, make fuck, a few they bucks. Look, and they look good. Another Jordan in that pinstripe alternate. with the b- yeah. black and red. Yeah. 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 Because Remind like, me on, our, of a... on our standard def, really low quality uh, TV feed back then, it just looked kind of pinkish. <laughs> Maybe it was just my ghetto TV. Probably, <laughs> I, you, I didn't actually know my since it wasn't high def. TV. Since it wasn't high def, I actually didn't know it was pinstriped until I saw them in a store. That's what I mean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah you can't tell. It, like, it what the hard fuck is tell. this shit? <laughs> it was really hard to tell because our TVs were so shitty back then, <laughs> and you couldn't like if you're not familiar with the players like by face, like it's hard to read their numbers and their names on the back sometimes. Yeah, because true. our TVs were such a low def. Can you imagine if we had like M- Michael Jordan legacy era in high def? How much, uh, how much amazingness that would be. We kind of can create it when we like play 2K and shit. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah. And, and they're actually offering that McGregor Mayweather fight in low def 
for ten dollars less than the high def. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Fucking yeah. Fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Eighty nine versus ninety nine dollars, and you're gonna watch it on Peasant Vision. I mean, if that's all you can afford, that's not what I meant. It's wow. just, just that you from Imagine that. explaining that to, no, your, no, to the no. rich. No, imagine rich. explaining it to this, the people. But, like, oh, I'll say this. Vision. You don't need – no one should actually have to pay for that fight. Go to a pub, have a beer, and then watch the watch that 13, 12-round hug fest. That <laughs> if you can get into a pub at that yeah, point. Exactly. Yeah. I remember when the Pacquiao and the Mayweather fight was going on, uh, my local pub – that usually hosts for free, like all the UFC fights and all the boxing matches. They actually charged a, uh, they actually sold tickets to get mm-hmm. in because they knew it was going to be oversold if mm-hmm. they didn't do that. Yeah. And it was like five or ten dollars to take it just so that they can do a proper head count and just close it off at a certain point. Mm-hmm. And I have zero problems with that because mm-hmm. instead mm-hmm. of paying ninety to a hundred dollars US for a fight, might as well just pay the ten bucks and get some nachos. Yeah, 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 yeah and save true. the rest for beer. Yeah, man. I have no problem with uh, local businesses nope. like trying to cash in. Plus, you're in the environment too. Of course, oh, yeah, way more like you might get a shitty seat, but like we we should check out that place I talked about. Yeah, for the fight, like August twenty sixth, right? I'm ready. I'm watching it. I'm I, watch I don't it. care how bad of a fight it, it is. I, I just want to. I just want to experience. It's a spectacle. It, it's an event. It, take it for what it yeah, is. Man. It's, it's like the spectacle. Olympics, right? Yeah. It, it, who, who you got then? What's your? What do you think? What What's are, your what top you, what two? It's probably gonna be Mayweather. winners of this fight. <laughs> <That's right>. It's <laughs> Mayweather. What are your and, top three outcomes? And his accountant. <laughs> yeah, good call. Well done. Yeah. The answer is the promoters. <laughs> yeah. promoters. They win. Um, it's not gonna be much of a fight if you ask me. Uh, I I, th- I hope they swing. I, I'm, it's gotta go for the money that they're gonna rake. When in it comes for to it. combat sports, I originally started watching and participated in uh, like boxing. When I was really young, so I was always been a boxing fan. Oh, right. Because the way I see it is like uh, mixed martial arts is still like in in its infancy, right? Uh, that sport itself is kind of still in, in its infancy, whereas in boxing has had hundreds of years to um, kind of evolve into what it is now. And like, if you ask me, I think boxing is like a science, right? Mm-hmm. Whereas it, it, it's a lot of a action and reaction. It, it, I don't think it's that sweet science, uh, but. Uh, UFC, not UFC, sorry. MMA is more of a, uh, I don't know how to say it. it. It's kind of more variables to deal with when it comes to MMA. Mm-hmm. And if you throw an MMA fighter into a very scientifically thought out matchup that is boxing, I don't think they have as much of a chance. What makes it, what part of it makes it so scientific? It's just there? everything, everything you do. With, has a counter. Everything you do is has a reason behind it. Whereas in like on in MMA, you can take advantage of like a weird slip, or if someone same thing happens in boxing, right? or right? If, weird slip, or weird... or if one dude sweats more than the other, then he can slip out of shit. More mm. variables is what I'm talking about. Whereas in boxing, like a punch to the face is a punch to the face, right? Yeah, and everything you do le- either leads you to punching someone or getting punched. Mm-hmm. So everything you do is accountable for what happens. I think but, it's more simplistic. I think when you're in, in MMA, it becomes more because you more have multi- multiple disciplines, right? You have to yeah. be schooled yeah. in oh, multiple yeah. things. It's not just being an expert in yeah. one area. You have to be yeah. an expert in multiple Should, areas. Should I agree with you again this week? Well, don't, don't get me more, wrong. You Both have to sports. Thi- I think I think it's more scientific to be honest. Both I, yeah, sports have like have. It's dedicated disciplines. I, I understand that. And, mm-hmm. I, and I don't think one is better than the other. If anything, I'd rather watch MMA nowadays, mm-hmm. but I appreciate mm-hmm. boxing more mm-hmm. kind of deal. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's, it, it's almost like, oh, do you rather watch an F1 race where the fastest cars in the world go, or would you rather watch some kids like street race? You yeah. know what I mean? They both have his awesome. Yeah, they both have their inter- <laughs> exactly. awesome. Yeah. The one thing about boxing that sours me is just like everything behind it, yeah. you know? Like, I mean, it is a sweet science, but at the end of the day, like, there's still people that are getting paid. There's still paper champs that are being manufactured. Of course. Right? Like, I mean, of there's... Course. there's Stepping stones. Judgments, yeah. like, judging decisions, like that last Pacquiao <laughs> fight. I, I lost um my love for Pacquiao. Oh, I was going to say a million dollars. Yeah. No, I lost my, my love for Pacquiao when he had all those uh, homosexual slurs. I did... I, n- not a fan. Did you actually see or hear the interview? Yeah. Okay. I have. I have. Hey, when we were at the basketball game, a, a kind of a story. I need you guys as input on something, okay? Mm-hmm. Issue related now. Um, I went to the basketball. We went to the basketball tournament. You guys were all decked out, and we kind of tangentially had a throwback theme, okay? Can, yeah. Is it fair to say? Yep. Yeah. So you guys all fucking came dressed the ball and shit like that, and I <laughs> kind of clowned up in some of my dumbass shoes. And uh, <laughs> the shoe of choice I wore on court. Well, first of all, what did you wear on court, uh, Joe? Space Jam 31s. Very good choice. 
How about you, uh, Jason? Uh, Space Jam 11s. Nice. Those are dope, How about you, P? Uh, Kobe 9 Elite. So you guys all wore shit that was state of the art, okay? Mm-hmm. At the time, at least, anyways. Uh, what I chose to wear... So it's kind, yours. Of, it's kind of state of the art. It's you. It's <laughs> at the time. It's yeah. technically a newer silhouette, and that was the Converse All Star Chuck Taylor twos. Nice. And I wore those for basketball because, uh, in my defense, I guess they are basketball shoes. And you right? don't have any mm-hmm. basketball shoes. I do not have basketball shoes. If you, if you care to, <laughs> if you care to know, you have Jordans, but not basketball shoes. No, they're not basketball. You, you know, I can go on an ar- a legit argument saying that they're not basketball shoes. But how do you guys feel about my uh, sneaker of choice? For, Very good. for basketball. It worked. Uh, okay, I'm going to give it a quick um, non-professional review of the on-court performance of the shoe. Okay. Gino's review. It's not <laughs> as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, okay. My feet did not hurt. I did not break an ankle. Um, in fact, of my whole body, my feet was the last thing I had to worry about. Wow. My ha- I like Joe passed me a warm up pass. The very first warm up pass he threw me when we were shooting around. The first pass I received during warm up, I sprained my thumb. Oh. Okay. As I was running around, I felt my joints and everything getting more stiff and more sore. Oh. The only thing that didn't bother me was my feet. Yeah. It's got to be that lunar lawn technology. <laughs> really? Yeah. So uh, thumbs up for if you are casually playing basketball with amongst friends, not competitively. Um, I say <laughs> at least give it a shot. See how. Yeah. See how you feel, man. That lunar soul, is that for like running or is it for training or? It's all basically of for all of the above, eh? comfort, yeah. first of all. Cause Cause when, you can almost be a part of trivia now because I think the last person to wear those playing basketball was uh, Bill Russell in 1974. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Same ones, Converse twos. Yeah. No, no, Come they're here. the ones, right? Yeah, he, the yeah. ones. The no OG lunar lawns, right? <laughs> but I wanted that. Cla- I wanted that soul. classic throwback look. That's why I wore those. And it was time for me to undies them, anyways. Yeah, you should have worn cho- some short shorts then, like crazy ass short shorts. <laughs> yeah. Just underwear yeah. then. Yeah, pretty much <laughs> triangle <laughs> shorts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyways, you guys approve of my uh, sneaker of choice? Yeah, yeah. it was nice. All right, yeah, uh, let's get into some new-ish releases okay. coming up. And for the upcoming releases, I didn't write down that many, so we can spend a little bit more time talking about it than mm. than us rushing through it. Okay? I'd like Until to we throw get one down, if you don't mind. Oh. Yes, you do. Go first. Here. Sorry. It's the Air Max One Jewel with the baby blue tonight. Okay, you can talk about that because yeah. uh, we've kind of uh, group chatted about this to yeah. get the feel about it. Yeah. So how do you feel about I it? I like them. I, I don't I, dislike them. I really like them. Like, um, Man, you've been really turned on. Yes, yeah, with I like have. AM ones lately. Eh? I have. Thanks, guys. Honestly, thank you. Um, a whole new appreciation for Air Max ones and one of the oldest sneakers around. These are not OGs though. From Which what one is I it know. again? It's the Jewel, Jewel with the. It's not patent leather. It's it's just regular leather. Uh, that's baby blue what color. The UNC. Baby blue. UNC, UNC colors. Yeah. Isn't it white? White yeah, and white. U- and baby blue. Okay. Yeah, and I'm a sucker for baby blue, so. And what's with that jewel swoosh? What's that all about? It's just what it is? It's just what it is. It's just a different type of... Because the regular Air Max will have like a fabric kind of... Yep. Um, and it's a bigger check mark that goes yep. through the layers. Yeah. But this is just the jewel. And it's like a... It's just a really nice... The baby blue is what got, gets me. Say it's clean. No, it's not. I, it. I wasn't going to say clean, actually. Right. Right. It's just a whole different we, we aspect. The bell's not a, it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm sorry. Where is the bell? Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> um, I, I, I don't mind it, but I... Mm-hmm. The AM ones is one of those silhouettes where I have such fond memories of the OG colorways mm-hmm. that I, I it's hard for me to justify buying an AM one that I don't have a, a nostalgic value towards. Yeah. Um, unless it's like a crazy collab that I really really appreciate the uh, the other brand of yeah. like um what's that the Atmoses or whatever those I can fuck with. But um, for older silhouettes, even with Jordans nowadays too, I only kind of. Um, really go after the OG colorways. Yeah. Do you think that these will sit? Yes. Nice. Because I don't have money yet. I'm not a Friday. I, fuck, man. I, I'm not a fortune teller, man. Yeah. You can't just be like, yes. That's okay. That's all right. All right. <laughs> you, you, you're, you said it. It must be true. Your words have weight. I, don't, I, I also said that the zebra is not going to go down in value after the restock. <laughs> <laughs> Was I wrong about that? Did they not go down? They, they no. went down. They right? plummeted. They plummeted. So they plummeted. instead of 1200 they're probably like Instead what? of 2000 now yeah. they're 700 Yeah. So they've gone down like 60 70%. I'm putting those on retirement for now. Well, Have you worn them already? Once. <laughs> Inside? No, actually out the day of. Was it an, oh, out the day And of. then I saw the, remember the post that I saw, showed you yeah. guys today? Yeah. Yeah. And I saw how... 
how it it you kind of regretted all? creams are and i'm yeah. like okay i think i might have to wear the creams now you want to talk about that yeah we can i mean okay, it's not ahead. official but we were no it's just statistics stuff. yeah what it was it was just guys we i just showed them a link from sneaker news um, it was uh, it was on most of the it's, a, it's everywhere on social media yeah. now. Which just shows like the real release numbers for all the version twos to date. And what the what was there, what what the graph shows is that the three, which was part of the Black Friday release, mm. yep. were the ones that are the most rare. Also But this is at, yeah, that at the time probably the that l- source is least wanted. The least wanted. And yeah. probably still the least wanted. We were clowning it. Like I mean, well, yeah, we, no, we, red, we weren't clowning it, but the way I saw that release is you combine the three together and that <laughs> is how many that came. So yeah. to me anyways. Yeah. Like, At least I got a pair of the red ones. I, I call them the infrared. So Do you still have them? Uh, yeah, yeah. DS and everything. The red ones were the one to get though. Yeah. 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 So you, you raffled and everything, right, Pierre? I did actually. That was um, through Adidas. That was. Mm-hmm. That was uh, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like the the Black Friday three pack was uh, allegedly the most rare of mm. all the three fifty V2s nice. so far. And uh, I don't know it's, that feeling when you hit. Uh, but if you don't like them, you don't like them. It doesn't matter how rare it is to me. Yeah. I've gone past the thing where like, oh, it's so rare, I gotta have them. Kind of like what. Uh, Eugene, <laughs> just guys. Eugene when, was actually balling in Belugas. When did you get past that? Always, always, <laughs> always. Because oh, I'm pretty sure we could go back into the archives and find out that there's actual proof. No, You'll no, put it on loop. What I You'll mean, put it on loop. What I mean is like, how rare something is doesn't mean that I absolutely have to get it. You know what I mean? Like, does I told it you- help though, Eugene? Sorry. It helps though, right? It helps that I don't have to. Because what you're describing is hype. If it's something's rare and it's hype, hype. you hype. want to hype. get it. Hype. I doesn't make me want to get it. Like I said, I just signed up for, for those zebras the first time. Yeah. Because it was something to do. And I made a video out of it. And that was the main purpose. And I want them. And I felt so unexcited about them. No percentage Didn't of have to go even wanting to get it? I did pick them up. That, yeah. That's besides the point. Like You, you, you win it easy, you pick it up, man. That's yeah. automatic. So there's not even a per, like a 10% chance that you wanted to find something that's unique and, and different? Yeah, but not for the reason why it's rare. Mm-hmm. Like some of these things that i really want weren't rare at all it's just like kind of slept on it Mm -hmm. or or whatever the case like my example is like when i paid a full price for those uh the true blue threes Mm -hmm. and they went on sale eventually and people like clown on me saying well you could have gotten like dirt cheap you like like, them i'm like no man i got them at the price that i i felt fit Mm -hmm. and i had no regrets buying them at full price so the price of something and the value of something two totally different things for me Okay, so. so what's the difference between a Bape NMD, which I know that you're a fan of, yeah, and that's rare, yep, um, and an Adidas Yeezy that's maybe you're not a fan of, but yeah. that's rare also. The difference between them? Yeah. I'm a big fan of Bape. Okay, so you need another factor for you to cop something. You, you remember last year how crazy I was about NMDs? Yeah, yeah. And then they yeah. threw Bape on top Nine of it. Nine pair NMD Eugene? Uh, on one day, too. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, like, they, and they threw Bape on top of it. I've been on Bape fan, like, since, I don't know, 2000. Mm-hmm. So it's been a while. So you're saying that, and I respect this, you, not only the rareness of the shoe will garner your attention, it has to be another factor. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. If something's really rare and I don't like it, I, yeah. I won't even try. Mm-hmm. Right? Kind of like those um, um, Special Forces AF1s and all that stuff. Yeah. I know they're not as easy to get as people like want them to be, but I've never even tried because mm-hmm. I was not a fan. Like those Haven Ultra Boosts, they even try because, you know, I wasn't a big fan of some of the collaborators involved there. Yeah. So I, yeah. I chose to slip, slept on those. You know I, what I mean? I'm curious because I want to see what I'm like the next time because... I'm not gonna lie. Like something that is rare and and hype does kind of motivate me to to do the work. Atmos. Yeah, dude. Right? He, but I like the Atmos. Like I like the grew. cement. It grew. Oh, dude, the, dude those he, Atmos. He yeah. liked the Atmos for the right reasons, and I respect. Elephant, that. elephant print, man. Elephant yeah, he loves elephants. I've never had an elephant. Jordan print. pack. <laughs> oh, you gotta have the Jordan pack. That was you. The that was actually beast. That was actually doing. Much respect to you. I put way too much respect to you, old guy. That's why. <laughs> old guy, you're the same age as this idiot. I think I'm the youngest one. <laughs> By like months. There you go. I'm Take still it like, easy. Still the youngest. Wow. <laughs> months. Right back like. Thanks. Yeah, shut awesome. up. <laughs> <laughs> That's why there's no pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to Photoshop that. <laughs> I'll fix it for you. He felt. 
<laughs> Whose idea was it to, to freaking? I kept saying yeah. move. Oh, Who said? Yeah, I certain, wish we did. Inside I joke. probably said inside to stay joke. there. Anyways, there was a, <laughs> such if, an you check, joke. if you check our Instagram, there's a there's a team photo of us and like oh, don't check go. our don't team. Don't do it. <laughs> Just kidding. There, Leave some, him alone. There's some lighting issues Leave with the yeah. photo. <laughs> And Pierre didn't like the way he looked. Let's just say I'm going to be wearing hats for now on, gentlemen and ladies. I took mine off. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not ashamed. I think it gets oh, worse. We got the Joker Lo- and Batman here. I've taken my mask off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyways. Hi, anyways. So, um, hey, Joe, how about you? How do you feel about, um, you know, uh, limited releases and the hype? Is, Dude, it, is it worth? Joe doesn't give a fuck. That's what I love. That's What's my like first Joe? name? Hypeless. Doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Hypeless Joe here doesn't anti hype isn't, isn't affected by the hype. That's why I thought you were you're a good barometer between like but me and you. Mm. Me do you and find that you Unless being it's really a certain OG something or other? OG? Then, don't you get hyped about that? He gets hyped because it's an OG, not because well, yeah. oh they're so rare. But I get hyped they, up they for are, the wrong though, reasons. Like, sometimes they sometimes they are. That's so, I'll, I'll get hyped like those yeah those Navy Elevens. There you go. Yeah. Black yeah. Cement Threes. So you're hype. Doesn't know. Yeah, but hype. I, but I don't give a shit. I'm not even acknowledging the fact that. People okay. are going to go bananas for them. Let's do this then. Fair Joe, well, what's the difference between you hyping up, say, the Royal Ones or a, or a Black Cement 3 uh, as opposed to Pierre hyping up uh, like uh, a Zebra Yeezy? What's the difference between your, your hype and his hype? How do you how do you describe it? Yeah, it's pretty tough. Like his his hype is backed Trust up. Trust me, I I believe that Joe legitimately wants the shoes for different reasons than me or you wanting yeah, Yeezys. But I just want to hear from him. Yeah. Makes me feel... <laughs> What do you got in there? Carry on, vodka. Uh, everybody's taking a swig, huh? While you think of that, Joe, <laughs> Joe's mind, like, do you mind you... if I ask you another question too, just to supplement sure. it? Sure, pile on. Let's go. Don't you think sometimes having or waiting for it to officially you like it for like let's talk let's talk about your Ultra Boost. You waited a bunch of years to get your own pair. <laughs> yeah. A bunch. Yeah. Yeah. I waited Two for the cycles. right pair. Two yeah. cycles, of right? Ultra um, Boost. Until it almost four. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, of the Parleys yeah. alone, right? There was, this is the second this is one. the third second. release. Uh, yeah, no one that I could have gotten the, I know. the Parley I'm for the saying. Oceans. You waited <laughs> a while. It's, it's like a prototype. It's like, why <laughs> yeah. didn't you get the OG? Why didn't you? Yeah. So, the, it I, so it's been in the market for like four <laughs> years. Yeah. And we already know that it's an awesome shoe, but you didn't want to get it because... The right cause. And the hype, people still going bananas. The endless social what are you media kind of posts like a about, about you can't like co- something everyone else likes. Yeah, don't you think? In that- terms of Ultra Boost, yeah. Why? Why? Don't you because think? Because I'm not gonna. Okay, I- are you not getting? Okay, okay you you guys answer. Are, for me. are you? <laughs> no, no. I just want you to. Are you? Did you not get Ultra Boost because everyone else got Ultra Boost? That's correct. I did not. Okay, what's the reasoning behind that? What's your logic behind that? Cause, good shoe. And cause. I have a, I have but a question. Yes, but all those were there. already there yeah. when the first. And what was the, the first? Person... What was the first one? Cause. cause. That's right. So what if? So I did Ultra sleep. Boost... I did sleep on the first Navy Ultra Boost. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it that. I didn't. I didn't yeah. do as much. So work what if as the I Ultra Boost never came out with a shoe that had a cause attached would to you, it? Would you ooh, never buy the good shoe? Point. Ever or willing to try it? Uh, what? If so you're they, saying the reason why Adidas you bought it never is because made a shoe of cause, with a good cause. With a good cause. Yeah. So if they never created another shoe that had anything to do with like helping the oceans or doing fucking anything that you felt was a worthy cause, mm-hmm. would you just not buy the shoe? Mm, I'd probably wait. There's a there allegedly there's a, there's a le- the, I think they're calling it the Trace Pink. Yeah. Ultra Boost coming out. It's like a light gray with the little intermediary weave of traces of pink. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Yeah, the nice. little anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so, so that one's kind of piqued my interest. Okay, but yeah. there's no cause. That's correct. Okay, so yeah. it doesn't necessarily need to have a cause for this pair. It did yeah for this pair? Okay, I fair probably enough. wouldn't have saying. bought a white and baby blue shoe if it was yeah. not. Mm-hmm. But I mean, in ultra boost in general, you know, you would have found a colorway eventually that you liked. Correct, and okay. then, like like I was going to so say before, Eugene cut me off about nine times. Um, <laughs> the uh, like the endless social media posts of people going batshit crazy over, oh my god, the, the version one core blacks are out of restock, and oh, the version two core yeah. blacks are out, and oh my god, version three. Have you seen version four core black? It's not as <laughs> good. It's like, yeah, but you guys go nuts. I don't want to fuck with it. Here's the thing, though, is that all that hype, all those positive, you know, remarks, and not just by three, four, five hundred, two hundred thousand people. <laughs> uh-huh. Doesn't that mean something? Like it's a good shoe in general. 
Oh, I, I've taken note to the technology. Yeah, yeah. But again, it, that that combination of of like what Jay was talking about for me to get to merge into the Ultra Boost lane mm-hmm. is the reason why I wanted to get away from that freeway because it was uh, so packed with people just sh- clogging if shit up. If it's a up. good shoe, it's a good shoe, man. You shouldn't let these people decide whether or not you should get it. But those colorways. Oh. You're, you're the reverse hype. Naked was hypeless. <laughs> Naked. No, you're not boot. hypeless. You're like reverse hype. Anti hype. No, that's hipsterish. <laughs> is what it is. Fuck. Well, what's the opposite of hype? Anti hype. Yeah. No, you're not anti hype. Anti hype <laughs> is like when you don't get hyped up for something, but now you're steering away from hyped items. Hype avoidance. Hype avoidance. See, that's that's not anti hype. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, I think it's like it's Jeez. never it's anti-hype you, would be never getting hyped about anything. Hype is not no, like, in terms of this shoe. Sure. Yeah. No, man, if it's a good shoe, it's a good shoe. I agree. Like, like, when did you, I say it's not a good shoe? I'm telling you the reasons no, why I I'm, didn't want to get involved with those ones is because everybody and their fucking dog was going nuts for uh, triple white, core white, core black. I don't. I don't want to fuck with it. And then the, I acknowledge the fact that it was a good shoe. But and then the ones that no. were general release were were colorways that you don't like, is what you were saying. Correct. Okay. I, Correct. I, okay. I mean, there are a couple I, in there that look good, but yeah. obviously not good enough for me to pull the trigger because it took the combination of uh, right cause, silhouette, and a colorway that is acceptable. And ninety three sixteen, right? The what? the one that got away. Yeah. The boost. So that would have been your first one technically, mm, if you because yeah. you were like yeah. Eh all white yeah you can yeah. choose i can fuck with because they're classic but yeah. yeah um the ultra boost is you know it's been around for years and years and um i've always not always like i, I was late to the bandwagon but like as soon as i got my pair i'm like oh i get it yeah but we've been trying to tell joe that it's gonna be awesome if he ever gets a pair <laughs> you, you know but no. but if he's the type that's like i'm not gonna get it because everyone else has it yeah that's well, look, fine too this is this is your analogy of going to the bar and picking up the first oh this is awesome individual you're attracted to <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, I wasn't about to just take the first person I was attracted Dude, to. Dude, you get what you like can you get. Are. Yo, get no. what you can get. Hell no. Higher standards. <laughs> look, look, look. If that first lady no, is waited right. until the music stopped and the lights came on. <laughs> if that... That's because I could see everybody for their true ugly colorways. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but if that lady... And yeah, that uh, one's or, special. <laughs> if that person of... <laughs> special cause. If that person of interest... Was like all your boys Charity are case. like, Charity hey, case. hey, <laughs> yeah, that person is dope, man. True, like, whatever. Yeah. That person will do things to you you don't even know exist. Yeah, like, parleys. And, and then, and then you're like, <laughs> huh? If everyone says that that person can do that for me, maybe they have a point. Yeah. I should give it a shot. Yeah, what do you? You don't be like, that? oh, maybe her friend's friend's friend. Eventually, I can find the same thing. Yeah, yeah don't you do think, that? Don't you think? Like, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure there's a reason why the continuous train of celebrities are involved with a certain. Another celebrity who uh, I just don't wanna, <laughs> I just don't want to <laughs> pinpoint who this person is. Yeah. But we're talking about we'll say the hip hop community is now all over a certain female individual that, by all weights and measures, may be a very good person, maybe terrific in the sack. She's the ultra boost of fucking. That's my point. Is that I super not, comfortable? I, exactly. I'm not interested for that Should reason. Write a song about it? <laughs> yeah. Any, anyways, let's move on. Man, we're all over the place today. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're like crazy ambiguous with what we're talking. About. So the counterpoint yeah. is that I don't. I paid attention to. It's like this, everybody's got their own nuances with sneaker shit. Yeah. It's like I didn't want to get involved in the early days of uh, the Ultra Boost because everybody jumped on them immediately. No, nope, I went like the colorways weren't super attractive to me. But not like what Pierre was getting at to really button up this question is that I don't give a fuck how many people want a bread or a royal or a black cement three i like i've liked that shoe since the first time I see, yeah. i've seen it so i'm gonna be all over it just like i would assume there are people who are you just had boost to wait heads. a really long time before you got it yeah wanted to... okay then, yeah but boost, um, there are boost yeah. heads that would that would you know line up immediately for two or three days if it was announced that uh, version one core black and triple white and core whites came out again i'm sure there are boost heads out there that like that print to of the uh, knit v1 upper again, that's what i mean. never had it in but, white that's what so. i mean I'm sure there are people I'd go for the OG V ones, though. The, yeah. Purple, yeah. the purple counters. Yeah. That's the one oh, I yeah. 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 Burgundy, the OG, OG. all no, of no, no. Just the black and cream. the purple. The core blacks had the, the, the purple spoon. No, no, no. no. Plastic the, the, spoon? It's either He's black or white, about... or the OG is literally the one with the purple cup. If it's got the purple cup, oh, then that's the, the OG. Yeah. That's the one that uh, a lot of people kind of slept on. Does it have the silver Ultra Boost on the purple cup? I don't remember. I just know it's purple. Were there any girls involved with this cup? 
<laughs> and if so, how many? <laughs> I don't know. I heard good recommendations, though. Um, but either way, um, what we're talking about? We're talking about releases, the hype, the anyway. hype thing. Yeah, it's yeah. Like the releases. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about the hype thing is that, um, Joe, I think you'll be, like we talked about before, every time like a Bread 1 or a World 1 comes out, you'll probably get it again and again, right? Mm. But what if like the... the counterculture the people that you don't really fuck with they start really really liking the shoe and hyping it up and now they're making it hard for you to get would you stay away from that silhouette then kind of like how you felt about the boost no, no. that's what i just said before that I don't but why is it different care. why is he's, it different because he's for the do you mind if i answer this i sure can yeah. i answer too because <laughs> i think there's more history and more associated with okay. with it's him a part of it. on that one i think Right? It's probably your association in your lifetime with that shoe. Can, yeah. can I speak on behalf of all the people that are <laughs> hype? All I'm saying is that hypies. When it's it's it, sometimes when you wait, you kind of you know if you wait until that perfect moment, sometimes it doesn't come. <laughs> yeah, but it it, it did. <laughs> <laughs> or it takes a long time. But it did. <laughs> I know. I, and it was epic. Four years. Four years. <laughs> I was too nervous yeah. <laughs> to pull the trigger on that shoe. It was, it was, it was epic. And now I hope, Get the in a face. weird way, I hope and can't wait until Parley and Adidas actually drop five million pairs a year oh, of do these recyclables. There's a lot this of water bottles, the man. the first five million on, pairs. That's what it was brought they, out, allegedly. Allegedly. Those were supposed I, to be five I, million. I don't, I don't, I didn't read that. And, and I, sold I out? I don't believe no, that's that. What it, no, 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 that's what they that, said. The, it was the to first be a... few were, were limited, yeah. but I think the Parley line eventually wants to, to release millions and millions. And of I hope units. they do. And I hope yeah. people and switch that, that, that might mean in the next 20 years, we don't know, right? Well, I thought they wanted 5 million for next year. I thought it was 20 5 million of any one shoe, that's a lot to ask. I'll for, just put it that way. Monarchs. Guys, for re- recycled product, does it, do you find that the price point is a little bit too high for recycled products? Technology. It's the, it's the yeah. processing yeah. that actually is going into the worst cause. So, so do you think that is worthwhile? To s- Definitely. I think so. Is any of that money going towards Parley? I've asked Parley directly via tweet and received no response. I think mm-hmm. they're busy. Yeah. <laughs> I hope they are. I they're hope all they're clean and plastic out <laughs> of the ocean so. right they're now. Fucking Adidas I hope so. Oh, fuck you, Joe <laughs> Pezzer. I hope so. <laughs> That's ten extra bottles. But yeah. do you think maybe Get that they're help us and maybe that we'll their responsibilities it. are already taken by removing ten pieces of, of plastic for that shoe? Say that again, sorry. Do you think that maybe they don't need to contribute money towards a cause when what they're doing the process is I think that's what Gino's talking about but it costs about. money to do it's like it it's not necessarily there. a charity yeah. I think Gino's talking that it's a process oh, might be worth yeah, the extra 10 bucks the actual, yeah. the actual process of collecting these bottles and it's going fucking to fucking knitting it yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> melting it I, I don't know what the what the process is for recycling these materials but it, the cost is always more right mm-hmm. you know if you, you if you go collect a bunch of pel- plastic locally you can take it to Paul and he'll, uh, Dude, you know what? I, <laughs> that's one of my hobbies. Actually. What collecting, collecting, bottles? collecting bottles and bottles. fucking plastic okay. at the ocean? I, I, what are you talking about? When I used to work at eBay, I used to work at eBay, and they always had um, free pop. So what I did was that I collected the pop that I drank, and I actually bought my PlayStation Three. Nice. Stop. Collect what, you, the pop. You pour the, pop the, bottles. the bottles. Oh, bottles. The pop. I thought you yeah. would just swig it and then spit it back. And and then another, <laughs> and I saved, saved another week of no, pop. So every <laughs> going right to the bank. Every week, every week, <laughs> I would block bags in your go to the, the, full the soda. <laughs> so we're we talking about five hundred bucks at a nickel a piece. Yeah. So he parleyed himself. I knew a that fucking it, PlayStation. It took, it took me. It took me a year and a half to collect. Fuck, that is good way for you, too man. long. No, dude. Good for it you. It was awesome. Good it was for you. Awesome. But like a thing, virtually free console. Yeah, and so, all about it's a preparation. Virtual console. And then, and then I actually got Fuck. really hooked into it. Not to the point where like I'm like what, collecting bottles or at the PlayStation. <laughs> you got a shopping cart. Yeah. <laughs> outside just hanging out <laughs> not to that point Don't but laugh. i ended up just collecting a bunch of stuff from like the neighborhood and stuff like that and mm. like what go- kind of stuff you're you other people's wine, vehicles yeah like organi- wh- wine is that I, what in our wine you wine bottles wine? beer bottles <laughs> oh that. bottles that be i was like based <laughs> off of him yeah just collecting organs <laughs> what people just did fucking ice baths <laughs> 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 I Where's think I think that's a great uh, idea that you have, but I also think if you think about it harder, you probably uh, rob somebody else of their living <laughs> by <laughs> trying to do that and buying your PlayStation. Pierre. Hey, man. Yeah. It's it's a PlayStation. How could you have to eat? I have PlayStations to play. <laughs> Come on, pimp, get your game up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Games are like seventy dollars, man. Dude, people make a living out of that stuff. So, um, I, no, okay, d- d- I believe depends it. how you define living. <laughs> like they, sur- they make us survive. Live. They survive <laughs> off of it. Barely live. <laughs> 
<laughs> Anyways, because you're a nine wait, figure yeah. fighter doesn't mean. Yeah. So are you? Uh, <laughs> how, how many years are you putting into TMC. this so you can get some Supreme Louis Vuitton stuff? Oh, that's not gonna happen. I know for sure <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna be. It's crazy. tomorrow, isn't it? I it's, think it's got canceled, right? But, but then I was, I, I, I yeah, what care. is the story about that now? Uh, I think it's all allegedly. I think this. The pop-up shop is canceled, mm-hmm. but they might still fulfill VIP pre-orders. Mm. Allegedly. I, I just hear a lot of things. Yeah. Allegedly. I, everything's mm-hmm. alleged. That trunk, dude. That 40,000 drunk trunk. Yeah, man. Why keeps not? On, I keep on thinking about that. That's a miracle. What's there to think about? No, it's awesome. Either get it or don't get it. Are you <laughs> getting it? <laughs> no, I'm Stop not thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> so first on the new release I would like to talk about is the, you know, the Vapor Max is... A very successful silhouette this year, and they have uh, one of the initial uh, collaborations. Uh, what was the first collaboration that they had? CDG. The very f- was that CDG. That's right. Good call. Uh, that was the very first launch item. But now they have a uh, what's the brand? Clot. 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 Um, they're doing a uh, all red colorway uh, Vapor Max. How do you guys feel about the Clot Whoa. Vapor Max? Pretty I aggressive. Seen this. No, I Do you know what Clot is? No, I don't. It's a brand started by Edison Chan. Chen Chan. Okay. Funny story is um, he's a famous actor in Hong Kong, but he grew up here oh. in Richmond. And I know people that he rolled with. Yeah. Uh, is this the guy with the laptop? Sorry. <laughs> the, no, that then that's, that's a different like, one. Oh, you anyone? mean the dude with the leaks? <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's him. Oh, yes. Yeah, he's your boy. Hit now, me. Huh? So, so I don't know anyway. anything about culture, but I know anything about pop yeah, culture. He, you know, you know, scandalous. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, you did have some scandal in his lifetime, but that's not part of our topic. <laughs> uh, very successful Allegedly. brand. It's not alleged. I saw the <laughs> pictures. <laughs> Anyways. Um, he started the brand. It's very successful now in Hong Kong. I think wow. it's part of the IT group. I think. Anyways, um, you know, IT is the one that bought like Bape and shit. Um, Clot Edison and and we used to appear at the same parties in town. As in like, oh, the Porsche rolled up. It must be Eddie or, mm. or homeboy rolling up. And then um, yeah, like uh, un uh, unplanned. I used to party, quote unquote, with him. What? So maybe uh, Eugene in his old life. I, I, oh, don't don't, don't worry. Life. He doesn't know me. <laughs> That's the important part. Uh, how do you guys feel about the the all red clot vapor max, guys? <laughs> it's just another vapor max. Aggressive. Is aggressive? Yeah. Well, is that a good thing or bad thing in your book? We'll see. What do you mean we'll see? You've seen the picture. You That's should right. know by now. And we'll see another picture. <laughs> Most of it has all been like color like the same color anyway like all the solid upper is, I, I, you know I, like a slightly darker or lighter version of what the soul is so it's not that surprising like it doesn't i guess this is come this is coming to from after a week or t- week and a half releasing the all red threes or fives right the fives oh yeah, yeah. the flight suits yeah um i don't know a single tone colorway yeah. has not has never been huge for me mm-hmm. like ever Ever. I always like some accents or something that plays off of it. That's why I like, you know, OG Jordans because they always always have like some a hint of white or black to yeah. them. But if you give me a, a straight up single colorway of anything, I, I'm not a big fan of it. That's why I, I never fucked with like too many um, triple white ultra boost and all that stuff because it's just single tone, right? And that's kind of dull to me. I don't know about how you guys feel. Like yeah. people like it ding ding clean, right? But to me, <laughs> I, it's just. I don't have to bell, damn it. But like to me, it's just boring. Ding, ding. Yeah. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. You know the kids nowadays, they go ape shit for monochrome. While our generation find like we went color. Ape shit. Bape color. Shit. Yeah. Bape shit. It's not like we like our shit like clowned and like fucking crazy. I love my shit clown, to be honest with you. Really? Like the SBs, like those were freaking dope in my That opinion. was just awesome. Though. Right? Like Atmos is Air Max ones. That could be clownish. Like, like who? Puts- That's a pattern, not a color. Not this, I know oh, what he's fair, getting at. I fair, know what you're yeah. getting at. Like, I, I understand. Well, like you, you look at the Atmos Air Max 1 versus the, that, that Safari Atmos <laughs> yeah. 3. That's kind of clownish to me. And I think we all kind of agreed that the clear soul, that Safari print on that 3, is a little bit much. Most of us did anyways when, when we were discussing the pack. <laughs> But plus, yeah. you, and you got, but you guys were giving that thumbs down because it was a, it was a three in general. Like the silhouette is a three, mm-hmm. and they're putting different things on it that were not on the original. That's, three. that's what we're talking about. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah, like, yeah. They clown the three. It's I, what I'm talking about is like um, the single tone colorway when it's an extreme color like uh, red or something very aggressive. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. you said, it, it it's kind of hit or a miss with 
like there's no wrong answer you can yeah. either like it or you don't it, it's a very nice shoe or it's not it, it's up to the eye of the beholder um to me it's just boring mm -hmm. like i wouldn't mind some accents to it or or whatever uh it also comes to a point where like you know like the off-white stuff that's mm -hmm. coming out yeah. like i i believe in in my opinion so of course i believe um that <laughs> the best of the off-white uh, series pack is is the vapor max uh, or am ones Oh, I like 90s. the Jordan ones. You like Jordan? I saw the them in person. That's Did clownish to me. You think so? Yeah. With, that is yeah, okay. That, that's but see, Air Max 90s now are the you're you're, best you're, you're saying clownish bunch. because your your OGness is coming out, right? Of like, for the same reason, it wouldn't matter if it's yeah. off white, Atmos or Moschino or Massimo from Target doing those shoes. Yeah. It wouldn't fucking matter. It's just the little hits of neon stitching. It's like, it's too much for me. It's too much. And second of all, too much like, I don't and they that's desecrated not, it's not a Jordan grill. one, dude. Do you, that's did you, not a Jordan one. Do you see one. what Virgil's been doing his, to all those friends yeah. and family? Yeah, he's been customizing them. I know, those are kind of cool. It's just okay, his there. rendition, right? Like, can't it's, you get a pair and then I'll <laughs> customize it for you. Just, right on just as yeah. cool. Well, here's the thing. It's Virgil, the guy who made it. Like, uh, isn't so, that cool? Kurtz is going to do some decons and just in like sidewalk chalk for hey, kids. Kurtz, yeah, what buddies. if Joe donates his pair of Chicago ones? Can you uh, let's do it. off white it? We'll off white them. Yeah. Would the, you, would I think you, you can't, like though, because we'll virgilize it. I like it. your work, but <laughs> animal print, decon, recon, Air Jordan ones, so played out, in my opinion. What you did was awesome. Well, Just his is from simple, scratch, though. Simple. This one's Python. This one's actual know, albino rhino. <laughs> yeah. This one's blue <laughs> wave hair. With yellow yeah. hair. Pony yeah. hair. Yeah, it gets a little again. much. Like, I you, still want you know, that you're getting smart about what you're going to design. Do you guys actually like any of the Off-White series? The Air Max 90. 90? Yeah, like, the 90 you is like my it favorite. or it's the best? You I really uh, like it, and it's the best one out of the whole thing, in my opinion. All right. So you, do you also know that we say "in my opinion" a lot on the well, show? Well, we have to. We have yeah. to. We can't because nothing's definitive. I'm gonna the way we really? take it out of my vocabulary. Oh, oh here it is. Okay, we oh, are. In my opinion, that's fucking rude. We are. <laughs> fuck you. In my opinion, <laughs> we are like anti-internet right now because, like, when you're on the internet, all you have to do is say fact before yeah, your exactly. opinion, yeah. and people think it's a fact. Yeah. yeah, fact. This is the best movie ever. I'm like, that's a fact. I'm obsessed with blank it's literally <laughs> yeah. this blanks He's for me personally uh, blank <laughs> we, should, we should do a whole op uh, if it was a whole episode me. just like speaking hyperbolic yeah, yeah. just entire show goes, you this are is, <laughs> this is the best shoe uh, i've ever seen mm. in my entire life wow it's lit <laughs> it's le clit. No, that's just fact. Legit clit. Um, what are we talking about? Clot. The uh, the yeah, Max. Speaking of clit, what, clot. Like just looking on the shelf with all the Vapor Max, really, I think, to me, I think they're... Too soon. Uh, too many too soon? Too, too many too soon. NMD syndrome? Same thing with... Uh, what the fuck else did Nike release? Somebody else released a bunch of shit. Caught the NMDs? Um, What's that? Well, like when the Zeros, the Air Max Zeros came out. Oh, and the then first they two were immediately, lit. Yes, immediately went to ID. Oh, yeah. Fucking killed it. Okay. It actually killed it. So ID is like the fucking suicide note when Nike. To me, it, to me it is because <laughs> it's a brand new product that you're trying to build hype and yeah. because it had such. Um, it didn't have a legacy, but it came from such an uh, oh, yeah. an original place that oh, yeah. you could have done so much more with it. I will say, in um, their defense, possibly factual. Sure. In, in my opinion, <laughs> is that there were only two original colorways. Yeah. And that of any silhouette, I agree with you completely. Though I am just the, uh, only the counterpoint one... is that. Let them build whatever the fuck they want because yeah. we only had two ideas for this the first time. I guess so, but like do more like what Adidas Adidas is doing with like Consortium. Like they did the Atmos release yeah. where it came out in the Safari and the Tiger camo yeah. and it was a limited release. So do stuff like that where you're trying to build it and then I'm just saying give it a little bit more time. Yeah. You know, don't just like blow your wad and like here, here's everything. Here's 80 million colorways. Yeah, and it kind of just kills I think that. it kills it really well, really NMD fast. NMD-itis. Yeah, and like NMD, you get but all this problem, stuff out there and people don't know what to buy. There's just too much. It's like you're giving them too much option rather than reeling it in a little bit. And but is it too much option? It. We're, we're, now we're going back to something kind of touching on what we talked about exactly. yesterday. <laughs> you're not allowing that hype to build but you're giving the customers what they want. Yeah. Because we talked about... Well, it's I a think new product. You don't know what you're... What you're, get, you're just like, here, take right. it. And so like, people you don't, get, know, you don't so, know what they so want. People, Yet? That's my point, is that you're giving them a product in a plethora of colorways. Like, I think we talked about but the But you don't even know if the product Cortez. is going to be successful. Well, you find out. You find out where you get traction. You just shotgun approach that bitch. 
But they have the wow. money. They have the money and the resources, dude. I guess so. so. But like, I'm but saying, it, like, uh, release a bunch of original, like, low key stuff first and see where it goes. Yeah. And which is maybe what they did with the CDG and you know the the original. It's funny that you Max Day. It's funny that color, you mentioned. But I don't know. It just seems a lot, and then it just the floodgates open, and then it's funny that you mentioned though. It's it's the NMD factor. It's kind of like the NMD process. Yep. Right, so the, the, I burned out of NND so fast, man. Like right now, of those vapor maxes that you can see over there, can you even name any of the fucking colors that those are? Supposed that's the to day be? to night version, and I like those the, hyper cobalt blue, the dark, the bluey blue blues. Sure, like you're going blah, 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 and you don't even know what it is. Like well, normally when things did. get released, they, but I know they the pack. Like, they have a specific like color associated to it. I think like they the just, a hype shoe will, the, a hype shoe will, something that makes the yeah, online content release. of like the way that. And you're absolutely right. And it's pissed me off because something we talked about earlier was the way Nike would fabricate or the online influencers would try and fabricate something inorganic, such as the uh, when the Barcelona Knights mm. colorway of the Air Jordan 7 came out, mm -hmm. everybody's like, it's Marvin the Martian. And yeah. it's, no, it's not. It's the opposite of the Barcelona Day shoe that came out. And people try and run with it oh, thinking yeah, that it's going to be, that. it needs this theme. Yeah. So yeah. there is a counterpoint to your, yeah. See, to your thing. It's just a fucking blue shoe. What if Nike did something, uh, what I think would be interesting with the Vapor Max, the brand new silhouettes are celebrating, you know, traditional, the tradition of Nike Air. But what if they did like throwback colorways? What if they had like an infrared yeah. Vapor Max, yeah, or a silver bullet Vapor Max, or a neon yeah. green Vapor Max, or even go back to like the OG. late seventies or eighties or something like that, where you have like like the, the Cortez the Vapor Max, yeah. Like, what if they did that? Would you like guys green, be interested? Green if they and did yellow. That they've, tried, they've tried to do that with the Roshi. They tried to put the Cortez colorway on a on a Roshi there that oh, was, just right, came yeah. out and just kind of did what it did. But the Vapor Max is it's still like hypey. Well, right how now, right? how how well did the Air Max One University Red do in that Vapor Max colorway? You know what well, I mean? I sold they out. tried it. Well, I mean, the first few runs sold out, so you could do that for for any number of them. Well, I, guess. I, I think that's what um, that's what Jordan's doing, right? All the thirty ones are a throwback to technically the Jordan ones, and then the thirty twos, the early well, twos, so on. Yeah, most uh, of them. I, I know See, I know what a... they're trying to theme up. You might not see it like by, by naked eye. You probably have to really search to see the similarities between one or the other. But I can see how they're trying to link up the heritage between the historical significance of a shoe to modern technology and what they can produce nowadays. But um, I think the Vapor Max obviously is a uh, new iteration of the Air Max, right? Is that fair mm. to say? Yes. Yeah. So if they were to do throwback. Um, or um, what do you call it? Celebration colorways of these vapor maxes. I think they would do very well, and I do think you, people like us would you even take the give ash, a shot. The asphalt one, so the gray, white, and black, and throw an infrared bubble like sole on it. Yeah, I would. I would. Dope. I would fuck with that. That would look if they cool. if they offer that for an ID, I would definitely like pay that extra forty bucks or whatever. Or they or just do it. Just do it and yeah. sell out. Drive hype up like Jay's talking about, and then like everybody's waiting it. for the next one, like the Obsidian Air Max One Celebration Vapor Max or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I'd fuck yeah. with those. Yeah. So yeah. Th there are options out there, and like now that we said it, you know how how, how things always happen once we talk about it. Like two <laughs> months from now, it's gonna happen. Yeah, then. Fuck. We should we should start a tab on all the things yeah. that we've said that has happened. I, yeah, we, it hasn't come out in yellow. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Yellow might be the next one. Off white Jordan ones was like three million produced. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Seven <laughs> times Space Jam. Uh, but but you know what I'm trying to get at, right? Like um, uh, Nike is trying to play very hard with heritage and tradition and all that stuff, which is kind of like taking a page out of Adidas right mm -hmm. now. So I don't I don't know which came first, but it's very hard on like a new silhouette. to to do that because you you want it to also have its own life do what they used right? to do man like, like come up with a silhouette and have two colorways for a whole season <laughs> yeah that's it that's, that's it. it don't yeah. don't make 19 days. different colors yeah yeah but there's it's such a clusterfuck hey because just restock. If, if, if the version one ultra boost had come out in, in just core black and white. core white or triple white and people went bananas for them I don't know if that would fly with Nike, like we're talking, like we're just talking about. I don't worked know in the '80s. Could, I know it did. I know it did, but I don't know if if it would that way. Kids are so well, kids. Everybody nowadays is so ADD that they need that next. They gotta, you know, the there's a Jordan I release every week. They, maybe, maybe it works. So are the know. kids like, I need the next one. I need the next one, or is like, I I need what I missed. I need what I missed. What is it? It's on to the next one, in my opinion. Most people are like, so all hey, these what's kids next? chasing that. triple white V ones, or like, are they the same demographic as on to the next? 
You know what and I mean? Initially, with Ultra Boost, they were because everybody's like, "Oh, those burgundy ones are coming out so good." It's hard to say, man, because like it, it's almost one of those deals where like I tried so hard, so hard to get those Vapor Max on like the very first launch and everything. Not me personally, like hypothetically, um, but now all these people are like, "Oh shit, you can just walk into the store and buy a Vapor Max." Same with Flyknit Racers. Like back in the day, they used to sell out like crazy. Sock darts, same thing. The first run always sold out. The first original one, two, three colorways sold out right away. And then once they have multiple colorways come out on the same day, NMD. then people stop fucking with it. AM zeros same thing um the uh, nmd of course nmds and um uh, uh, the last victim of this is the air max 97s they retro the first two uh, og quote-unquote colorways and, and they did very well sold out in stores and now they have like newer colorways that people aren't even fucking with right like that bone white or whatever that's oh, coming out white with the, yeah yeah, yeah. That came like out that one the, the, uh, technically because they had a special engagement at the nike metro town over here okay, so they yeah. got it a little bit early i think it comes out this week oh if, okay if yeah i saw that on, yeah, i like it anyways. it's all the all white with yeah the python, but it's like 30 python. extra dollars 20 extra dollars right yeah yeah uh, so like, uh the aniki the bodega and the end one okay you know what the fucking canadian retail is on what that? Is that 260 for aniki two 60 i know it's a consortium and stuff like that but i but mean the, the, re- the it's a hundred dollars more than what you would pay normally in why Canada. is that i don't know because it's a consortium okay consortium. well it's leather it the leather bodega lo- one denim it's a yeah it's like a patch patchwork <laughs> denim with leather liner but exactly i mean it's a it's an interesting shoe yeah. it's just that it's the why is it a hundred pair a hundred dollars more maybe it's, maybe, maybe it's that, limited, not but bad, a little bit 50 that's a lot i can let it that's, go but a hundred fuck man that's more more. than and that's an entry-level shoe too technically yeah you know what i mean that, well that's you, you saw me trying to ball on that and uh i fucking nearly broke my ankle that was the shoes no, the, oh. the Aniki is remember? Yeah. And also, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll update this. Uh, I was too, quote unquote, lazy to kind of change out of my. <laughs> this guy. I was too lazy to change Crossing out. Crossing swords, huh? The, yep. To change out my V2s when uh, we were just walking around. Right, and then we ended too up. Too lazy. And I want to look. No. no. I want to flex the, on them hoes. It's the only shoe that I don't lace up when I wear How were those, by the way? <laughs> the Converse were. They felt better than the, really? the V2s. Yep. When? What's in, B, what's in the V2 again? Boost. So what feels better than boost? No, but the no. lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the lockdown, yeah, the yeah, actual yeah. hug of the shoe. But the uh, lockdown the for the what, what's that hug? The Yeezy is probably <laughs> less. Felt <right>. that <laughs> two shoes at the same time. It's gonna be blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. But either way, uh, yeah, man. Like, don't underestimate Lunar Lawn, man. Yeah. Well, so going back to releases and, and strategy of releases. Yep. Okay. So say for example, you're you're in charge of you know, releases or manufacturing for Nike or Adidas, okay? So there's two strategies that you guys have pinpointed. One is releasing two colorways, letting it marinate. Ooh, I love that word. Right? Gain, gain momentum and stuff like that. And then release something later on, like a, like a, a sporadic release, right? Um, probably more money because you have to make some... Um, do a release and then find out what you have and then make some more, right? And then there's the second approach where it's like, I'll make a bunch of colorways, um, manufacture it all right now and just let it see how it goes because at the end of the day, the more the event you manufacture, the lesser the costs, right? Yep. And we can still sell them at 40% off and we'll still make some money. Yeah, that's one way of doing it. Right? But so there's also, two. There's two. But that immediately kills the future potential of that silhouette's sales. You know what I mean? Yeah. If this, if the first run doesn't sell out, that doesn't look good for the second run, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. But if you, like, trickle feeding, like uh, when Joe likes to eat, uh, if he... If you constantly have low numbers that sell out, they will continuously sell out until that cycle is broken. Yes. The, and the counterpoint to that is what we've talked about with, with Jordans that are that have up production of, say, a True Blue 3 that were somewhere between 250 and half a million pairs, allegedly, and they keep increasing. Sure, they may only sell 60% of that, but they are increasing every year. So you're going to have yeah. some volume that doesn't do as well, but it will increase. But then you lose the optics of a desired hype shoe that completely blows through yep. in 24 so, hours you know so now that you're saying that hype does gain the value of how people want to shoe yeah of, of, of yeah. course of that's course. the definition yeah. of hype okay so um 
Yeah, that just blew my mind. Actually, don't, can't say anything right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no it, it's like you, you can either make all your money all at once, or you can make the same amount of money True. over a long period of time, yep. which will more securely, um, you know, like uh, cement your position in the market. So let's talk about. It might also help with uh, like consortium or kind of like collaborations that if yeah. you're trickling in a little bit slower. You can start seeing the hype build and then people want to probably be more involved or you have more leverage. Who's be better more... at that strategy, Nike or Adidas? Oh, right now Adidas, for though, Lifestyles, Adidas, Adidas, Adidas is for sure. has has killing it with, has Nike with underproducing. Has Nike ever done that? No, and not ever, but has Nike done it in the past and has been successful? At it's most. always limited. At I most. mean, you mean the collabs most, and shit? Look yeah. At yeah, man. Jeff, oh. Jeff Staple. Yeah. Pigeon dunk. That and like fucking DBs. But they will never ever re release yeah. that, right? Hope, well, not hopefully, well, yeah, but. They have. What, the pigeon? The pigeon? Dunk? Well, they re released the DBs Atmos. that were supposed to be one on one. Atmos. Atmos. Never say it's never. Kinda, yeah, it's never the, say never. Yeah, it's never say never. And kind the of interesting deal. thing there is that I guarantee you that Nike holds all the power in a collaborative agreement like that. Just like I am fully convinced that Nike could re release the Yeezy 2 under a different name. <laughs> Just like they was it the was it Deion Sanders prime time, they stri- took his name off of it or they tweaked one element of the wording yeah. and then pushed it out again and yeah. then Deion Sanders said I'm never fucking for a consortium Nike again. release. Yeah, do you think it's Nike's call uh, or Adidas or Nike's call or is it both? No, or, I, th- I think it was the manufacturer's call. Adidas Nike. might might be giving them a little more sway. Yeah, in a collaborative agreement, but I, I have a. I'm feeling that Nike holds all of the power there, and that's why they don't do too many collaborations. Maybe they're just opinion. too hard to work with. Okay, so, Possibly, yeah, okay. for sure. I've been quiet about this because I've <laughs> kind of... Oh, here we go. I've kind of had three types of genres with shoes now with all the conversations that we've had. Pierre, what, what was your thought? Yeah, so I I guess the one thing that... We've, we've talked a lot of stuff. Um, and a lot of shit. With with that being said, I've kind of like narrowed down to three kind of categories when it comes to the evolution of a shoe, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Or not the evolution, but like how it's going to be perceived now and then later on, like the bigger picture of things. Okay, so let's start off with, say, for example, the old style Jordans. Um, and I want to call this maybe like a heritage kind of process where they'll... They'll lower the, the, the production rates, right? Um, so that the overall length of the shoe is longer. The lifespan? No, the what lifespan you, will be longer because what do you mean? it will be more sought after like later You mean on. the intervals between re-releases? Yeah, Okay. right? Just Not like any Jordan. the physical length now. of the shoe. Okay. I think that's what do we're want, confused by. Do you want to get all three thoughts out before we Okay, yeah, yeah. sure. So that's the heritage process. Okay. okay. Where like, okay, I'm going to build a story with it. Yeah. Uh, what do you think the, 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 the time between retros would be then? Well, let's say five, five, six years. Okay, go on. Right? Same thing. Like oh, what okay. we're doing right now. A okay. heritage shoe. Okay. Jordans, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. What's then next? there is the general release NMD. Let's call it the NMD factor where like they'll okay. release a whole bunch of stuff, yep. make their money and see where that goes. Yep. Right? Okay. So that's the second category. Okay. Then there's the consortium. Okay. Right? Where they'll partner up with a entity. Yep. Right? Usually very trendy at the time. Yep. yep. Right? Uh, no heritage. Okay. N- you know, just release it. Yeah. The hype. white thing kind of deal. Yeah. Yep. Hype. Yeah. Who knows if it's going to get released yep. later on. Okay. Right? So far from all the conversation that we have, yep. those are the three categories yep. of how a shoe gets deemed that if it's going to be sought after or or wanted later on in the future. Yeah. Right? Because we just we just mentioned it. Yeah. Um uh something that is a heritage classic or whatever will always have the history behind it, will always be drawn to a demographic that's, oh you know what, I remember the shoe when I was young, blah blah blah. Yep. And then there's the the one was like, let's just release everything. Um that's probably for the young kids nowadays where like right away I need something or what's the next one? Yep. And then there is the hype beasts, yep, of the, the consortium that just wants like ultra limited shit. Exactly. Okay. Right? Is it fair to say that that it would be the state of our game right now for shoes? Um, is there another category there that? I oh, mean? so you're there, just highlighting categories. Yeah. I thought you said that this is what we're gonna. That was no, yeah, no, no. no like, you're I'm spot just, on. There might be one or two. Right on there. there might be one or two um, 
kind of categories that, that crossovers be, yeah, yeah right Sh- shit like that and and maybe stuff that you know never gets discontinued the stan smiths the eqts and, yeah and the shit like or superstars well, they've never been discontinued but they've always sold well right? but that's a heritage shoe i agree but they've never been limited you can always always walk into a store and buy a pair of Air superstars Force one. but they Kay. always sell air force ones very yeah good. Mm-hmm. And, and shit like that and as staples well. and, and they like a, staples. A literal staples not the brand but uh, but those uh, were built with pigeons. stories so i would still consider them as a heritage shoe well right? this is the way you were but describing you use retro. Retro. Yeah, yeah, that retro, retro every yeah. five to ten, yeah. uh, five ten i guess what i'm trying to say is like we've we've always been experts in this even though we don't know the terms yeah. of something experts really pushing right because we feel it we feel the shoes and how in our opinion yeah we have a pulse on what fact the industry is happening right <laughs> uh i just wanted to put something into words or categories because yep. that's what helps us got identify it. got right? it right it's yep. not a breakthrough i'm just no no, no. You, just, you just you just want it like kind of a quote unquote in writing uh, the kind of different types of sneakers that gets released right? so does id or my adidas or whatever fall somewhere differently in those categories well they still deal with like or the, is it the a familiar silhouettes insane. right yeah but, yeah but it offers something different right of course but i think that's for when's the last time you like made an id and be like now this is worth so much. maybe the, the mom or, oh you're just strictly <laughs> talking then, that those it's are limited later because <laughs> oh, those true. fucking id options true. disappear after fucking 24 that, or if it's like I'm air max talking day. about that too that's part yeah. of it I'm talking about the bigger picture too of like how much people like it, right? Yeah. Like how much. I think at this generation of sneaker collecting, people are getting lost in their ways of why they want a sneaker anymore. I think that's very apparent for some of the younger generation. Uh, us, we're just too fucking frugal, cheap, may- maybe, or maybe we've just seen the cycle over and over. We're not tired or bored of it, but we can predict the cycle a little bit better than the new collectors out there mm. so that we don't feel the same sense of urgency to buy a sneaker. So uh, every time we're like, oh shit, I missed like, like when you miss like the royal ones or the bread ones, you're like, there's always next time. Yeah, but uh, but it, it's still it's like. Well, a I don't need to flex want, on right? them now, exactly, because yeah. I may have a pair or two sitting in the vault. And yeah. the, the thing that I'm happy with, and I may have said this before, but I'm pleased as punch that all of the hype that came around with the NMD, sorry, Ultra Boost, and the intentions of the NMD were that people were at least going bananas for a comfortable shoe yes versus something like a comme des garçons chuck taylor which is not uncomfortable or not comfortable as fuck that that's a painful no, shoe to wear it, 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 yeah it's not the, i actually have a pair of those those are the fucking fuck boy shoes <laughs> i still want a pair though I, I kinda they're want not hard to get man just they're not they, they cost a little bit extra but go to like the barney's or something when yeah. you go to the seattle you, you get can like pre-order them too, you can go to like boy zone or boy zone or boys, boys go, go. <laughs> i like the low boys zone. Zone. Yeah, that sounds like a, that sounds like a fucking boy uh, the boy band the boys <laughs> but uh but it boys reminds zone. me of but but, but <laughs> it's always sunny I mean. in Philadelphia. I like the logo. Yeah. That's what gets me. I, uh, to me, the, the play logo. No, the I lo- logo for the CDG, the uh, Coma de Garçon. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you're the, heart, the right, Air Force the Ones. Sorry. You talking about the like the pencil eyes? Yeah. Like, yeah. Are you gonna get the Air Force cute. Ones? Yeah, red heart. Oh, right. the heart. Yeah, that's the red heart. That's with the, the, heart with the eyes. The heart. Yeah, yeah the that's eyes. the CDG play line. So oh. when you say play uh, Converse, that's that's it's just like a, a leisure line. It's like a short, like a. I, I guess line. so. CDG is actually like a fucking up their brand, right? So have you ever seen the, the upside down heart or the heart with the big eyes on it? That's the play line. Oh. And it's got popularized because like certain celebrities would wear it, like you know, yeah. on TV and shit. And, and, I want one of those. I actually do. My my girl Jamie actually bought me a, a fucking CDG cardigan. Oh. And, and it was like oh. mega expensive. I'm like, really? come on now. And like it's one of those times where like you say you shouldn't have and actually meant it. My baby wants nice. <laughs> things uh, i don't i don't like 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 nice things yeah. i appreciate it yeah. but it's like I, when you get something like that as a gift that's too much like you that's, know what i mean how much did you pay for that you. wu-tang jacket <laughs> <laughs> i got that for myself i know i know i know but what you're if oh man fuck, I and woo is life so yeah I, I, that, that's one life. person i never regret getting man but um uh, when it comes to these kind of sneaker collectors man like we need to define what makes us drawn to a particular sneaker? Why are these NMDs sitting like selling like crazy? And like back in the day, these GR NMDs were reselling for three to four hundred dollars, and now you can't even give them away at retail. But Eugene, do we need to define where we're at in this category? Because I think what's awesome about these three pockets that we've identified yeah. is that you can bounce around in each one. 
and be like, oh, you know what? I can relate to this because I'm a heritage guy. Um, it's going to get really... you trick I yourself think, into I think thinking of... If you've got these three or four, as Eugene was pointing out, that where there might be a staple category that never goes away. It's not a retro, but it is a I think heritage model. Yeah. If there's three or four or more categories that we come up with and you hop between all of them, I think that falls under the sneakerhead umbrella would be my mm. opinion of a sneakerhead. It's got a little dribble, a yeah. this, little dabble, right? a little sprinkle, all yeah, that. that. But that, if you just sit in the fucking... Con- uh, collaboration <laughs> you just sprinkling yeah 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 but if you just sit in the co- collab category or yeah. consortium nah, category that yeah. your hype beast that's and you gotta thing. go that's across true. different brands too and, right? and like we talked across about seven, to death last week it's all those staple silhouettes that we're talking about those are the ones that are keeping the fucking companies afloat mm-hmm. you know like every time like an af1 or a superstar goes on sale it'd be hard not to fucking buy another pair yeah if like a converse all-star like chuck twos or whatever go on sale of course you'd be tempted to buy another pair because they're cheaper and like wow. they're fucking you know what i mean even even the celebrities i mean a few years ago when uh mayor out of new york had his whole video series about his basement with mm-hmm. his air force one collection even he said and actually uh, fat joe's mentioned this too like if he goes to a, a shoe store and is going to get something hot chances are he'll grab two or three pairs of white on white air force one yeah. or all mm, murdered exactly. out Air Staple. Force One, you know what I mean? Like, Just, it's going to wear them two or three times. They're going to get scuffed, and he's going to need a new pair. So. Yeah. so in your collection right now, which do you consider <laughs> your staple pair that it's not heat, but it's something that you absolutely need, even though you can buy it on sale right now? Really? What, are, what is the one pair? Fly Knit Racers. Yeah? Yeah. But like, I mean, have, okay. There's I have I have two pairs of Fly Knit ra- Racers, and yeah. I just want more. It's just... It's a nice shoe to have. It's like, a replaceable shoe. You yeah, don't feel you bad don't feel them guilt. Up. Yeah, exactly. And that's, I, I think that's a very mm. powerful sneaker uh, to have in your collection that wah, a lot of e- younger collectors might not have in their fucking arsenal. Yeah, they only have hypey shoes, and they might have ultra beater shoes, and but they then, don't have that staple shoe that they, they end replace. up with. Sole protectors, and then yes. they're buying those fucking dry stepper baggies right. and all of dry that stepper bullshit. Baggies. I, yeah, have you seen the new ad that was on Instagram? No, I just no. Uh, it, it was it's this, a today. Yeah, sneaker sacks. <laughs> we, we, no, no fucking joke. And it, Should we chip fucks. and buy one and do a video review of this thing? I think I we just go barefoot to the waste. next sneaker con in these bags. <laughs> it's that'd be dope. What was the picture a, on the bag? It's a, uh, it's a non-slip. It's see-through, like a, like a. So, so you can see what. No, shoe it actually. Wearing, you know so what? It looks like a body bag. It's like where your shoes mm, go to die. Like in uh, that, uh, Bad Boys Two, when Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are in that coroner's office or in the morgue and there's all yeah. those body bags oh he's bringing uh, them up with the actress what's yeah. your staple pair uh my shell toes okay definitely mm-hmm. how about you uh joe what's your staple pair are you calling him joe no you oh joe. puma suede's <laughs> Your favorite Jordan one. That all the time. Jordan, Jordan Shadows. Jordan, that's not a fucking. St- <laughs> yeah, dude, but he has the bankroll to go. Jordan wants no, his beater. Uh, okay, that's I talk, the about, thing, I talk right? about a pair you can go into a store to replace anytime you anytime want. Anytime right now. Yeah, man. Mm, well, fuck, yeah, you can't know. get Flyknit racers anymore. Who's? Yeah, but they have Gonzo. so much. Who, who has so much? They're they can all, have like the bolts and stuff like that, who? or like the orchid. Who? They're all over online who? right now. Yeah. Online, Fuck. you can find well, not anything that at size. discount. <laughs> you can not kind of get size. an Air, Air Max One like pretty much anywhere. That's true. Right? Air Max Nineties so, are still sitting everywhere, yeah, yeah. always on uh, especially so, off white Air Max. 90s. So, oh. I'm gonna get some of those. <laughs> it looks kind of like that. Oh jeez, dude, that's no yeah. better than the ones that were. This is my favorite though. It's the first, their last Instagram picture was a picture of a girl obviously at some sort of uh, oh, event festival. and she's coming out of porta potty with shit all over her sneaker that's mm. that's classy oh my god she's wearing uh, those yeah how would so, you even shit on your shoes i don't know i i'm i'm when i said their name i wasn't shouting them out i was just like hmm. <laughs> they exist interesting we, just, we acknowledge their existence like sneaker con. covers <laughs> the soul exchange Barefoot. canada yeah. i don't i don't get the purpose of it but anyway what do you mean don't get the purpose of it it's like umbrella for your shoes almost well it's then just the either wear your shoes or wear another pair that's intended for what you're doing like it seems pointless putting them in the so bag. what about they, the old school really guys who'd wear a pea coat and then put those rubber uh rain galoshes but is it just on the bottom of it no i mean it'd be a, like a toe guard like you'd actually drop your loafer into that thing so you could go how about like rain parkas rain? people put no, over no. their outerwear that's a that's a jacket <laughs> <laughs> you're putting so are, it you're putting so a these shoe are jackets of, for your shoes <laughs> you're putting a shoe over top of a shoe no, no. you're not even no putting you're a putting a bag over putting a, a shoe. people wear jackets over, over their jackets the, to this bag actually has traction on the bottom of it 
Okay. Like a, a rubber safety. seat. Yeah. Safety, man. It it's just se- sounds it's, silly it, to me. It is silly. It just sounds it silly to me. And I think it's accentuated the fact, I know what Gino is trying to say, like it's functional. People will put a waterproof shell over a sweater or That's whatever. Right, but I think the fact that it's translucent or see-through so you can see you flex while you're in the rain. I put my yeah. six-pack in it with a bunch of ice yeah. and then it won't slip away <laughs> uh, anywhere. Yeah. It's just not for us. No, That's it's not for it us. Is. Like um, who would have thought fidget spinner would be a thing, right? Yeah, who knows? I have a question though about um, – <laughs> So let's say t- tonight you go home, and, you know someone breaks in, all your shit's gone, all your shoes are gone. Yeah. You get it, you get you get insurance money or whatever, and you get to replace, start replacing it. What mm-hmm. would be your first couple of pairs that you would be like, this is what I'm gonna get? Like you have to start your collection. Jordan one shadow, Jordan ones and Jordan elevens. <laughs> I would start your collection my, over. I again. would start with my Jordan ones and elevens yep. from from the beginning. Yeah, and then work to the air bubble era. And then start replacing all my boosts. Okay, so pick boosts. three. Pick Holy three right fuck. now: color and and uh, uh, Concord yeah, Eleven, model. bread ones, and uh, BC threes. Okay, nice. That could be pretty That's much all of us, I guess. Yeah. At most ones. Most. I wouldn't do Black Cement threes because they're coming out. I'd save some of that insurance paper to double up and triple up. <laughs> now you're just being smart. Because <laughs> well, I can always... wait. Oops. Yeah. Patient Joe. Patient Joe. Oh, that's yeah. another. That's another Instagram account. <laughs> patient. It's kind of like Patient Zero. Yeah. <laughs> all, right, all right. What about you? Uh, definitely a Jordan One. I like the Shadow. I'd like to get a new one. I already claimed Shadow. Pick well, no, I, I'm allowed to too. Um, There's only one in existence yeah. in the world. <laughs> what one do you do? One in existence. I'd probably go with a Jordan Four, like Ooh. white cement again. Yes. That's such a good shoe. It's I such don't, a great all around shoe yeah. that I'd be happy. Like, what if the white cement released tomorrow? Buy it. Yeah. You already have we all have the yeah. yeah. How about you, Pierre? He'd get it. You didn't get the Nike Air one? You don't like it? Damn, son. I, I was I, it wasn't You slept? I'm yeah. You're not there yet? Did I you, wasn't there. Were, were you like, oh would what? you be there now? I would because of you guys. Were yeah. you okay. were, were, at the time it came where you're like, they're nice, but they're not Pierre nice. I remember I remember there were two no, I, I liked them. I, there was two versions. One the first ones that was featured in GQ as a must have, but it had the uh, Jordan man. brand. Yeah, so a better one came out. And you're like, and then maybe never not. released, and I didn't really. No, it didn't. Didn't get it. I didn't go have watch some old it. Michael Jordan clips. I mean, do the right dude, thing. I know the existence of it. I know the reason for it. It just didn't pop. You, Every you time guys, you guys, we didn't click yet. We, you guys weren't there to guide me yet. So, <laughs> so what are you? This way, Pierre. But like, yeah. it, it, I, I always, I always, always throw this challenge out there. It's like yeah. people are like, Jordan threes are so bulky and everything, and like they don't go this and I can't wear shorts with them. Like, go watch Michael Jordan in the dunk contest in the Jordan three, and then you'll. Immediately want to go out and buy a pair. <laughs> that's you why know what I mean? it's great, dude. That's why influencers have a great responsibility. When yeah, Michael Jordan's a good influencer people. for me buying Jordans. <laughs> no, no, in, in general, like I mean, um, are you talking about us as influencers? You guys are an influ- influencer. Um, artists I'll are take an it. Influencer. So if Trinidad James was wearing white cement fours, I'd be. Who's, I don't know why. Who's Trinidad James? All gold, everything. Who is that? Gold on my watch. Is that that's, Lupe Fiasco? No. no. Who's that? Wow. Like a rapper? I, was actually, I am so... That's too far. Is yeah, it's it? a rapper. A bad yeah, one. Maybe a bad one maybe. from about four years ago, five years ago. Sorry. No. <laughs> and no, cut it. Tyler, the creator, like I found out. Oh, shit. He's he, on Converse yeah, now, right? He lo- yeah. Yeah, that's he, awesome. And, you know, the vans that I got, the... Um, Golf wing? The OFWs? Okay. Yeah. yeah Golf Odd Future. Yeah. yeah. I got that because of Tyler, Tyler, the creator. Tyler's awesome. Yeah. I like the color of it first. I needed a push, but it, it was because of that. So influencers <laughs> like yourself or... Someone does yeah, I rank myself out. up there with, with Tyler, Tyler, the creator. <laughs> Thank you. No, no. Dude, we are I in know. a platform where of it's course. powerful enough, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, we nothing change kids' minds all the time. Yeah. Anything. Like, I mean, that's why. <laughs> nothing I say. Don't believe me, kids. Like, really? <laughs> This you, guy wears you have a responsibility. You're club. like Charles Barkley. You, you're not. I'm you're influenced. not a role model, I'm but you terrible. are. Terrible. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Anything else we want to talk about? We, we Did we go through second. everybody's insurance pair? No. Oh, I, kinda, um, I just yeah. seconded Eugene's. Yeah. Basically. At most, I'd probably do my OVO tens and I'd do my Yeezys. My, my, uh, my Lord last... of the Rings trilogy. <laughs> no, <Lord of> the <laughs> my last... Michael Bublé album. Game my Game of Thrones fours. Bublé on tape. Um, Peter Dinklage sevens, <laughs> <laughs> just made out of human flesh, yeah. just foreskin. Um, okay, oh, wow. <laughs> that's it. I'm out of here. Hey, you said Dinklage, not me. Uh, the band, band ones, if I could find, it, because you're replacing everything. If you've never had them, you try and convince the but fucking I insurance be... guy. They're the same, man. 
the, the your bread ones with a band one. Hey, the same. they give you money for the whole lot, right? You you buy what you're gonna buy. Right? They'll cut yeah, they'll cut you a check. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, you have a receipt for all of it. Yeah, you my spend easy how you want to spend it. I had some fucking <laughs> some guy I went to high school with had his car broken into, and he committed insurance fraud because he told the guy he had a like those five hundred CD binders, and he had just like a twenty five. He had three SD cards. So they, so they cut him a che- well. This is before that. This were like actual CD players, and so they cut him a check for the equivalent of five hundred CDs it bought at HMV, and he went fucking. Ape shit on it. You probably went to Columbia. Uh, yeah, or yeah, Columbia, BMG. BMG, the yeah. record store or whatever. And then never paid the oh, bill for oh, the first dude, batch. Yeah. How many do you guys? I did that. I sort of died. I had nine names. The 11. <laughs> yeah. Three CDs, and then you had to buy all the other ones. My house had 15 people living And then in you know it. what's crazy is that they don't... They, like they send they you. They need to do that for shoes. Yeah, we're gonna cut this out. We all come. All <laughs> no, we're running. Well, I paid my bill. They I paid my bill. They, started, my bill. they tried to bill. collect money, but like jokes on them, they went under. So yeah. fuck them. <laughs> wow. Yeah, because dude, most of the <laughs> also know. ripped to all the fucking uh, uh, the late charges at Blockbuster oh. too. <laughs> <laughs> Never had to follow up with that shit either. The one bad thing that they made is that they market it into like underage kids or whatever. That fuck, I had so many fake names, man. <laughs> yeah, I would have like every it was culture so easy. <laughs> that every I can culture. think of. I would have a new <laughs> name for myself. I was getting Eugene like Lino. Jamaican love songs. Just because, and I was like, I didn't order this. Like, yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you I think did. I need two copies of the Onyx CD. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I, oh man, those Columbia, the Columbia, was, what? Yeah. yeah, the list of explicit CDs or oh, rap. Yeah. So yeah. good. Um, oh, I remember I went to good times, uh, Costco to buy the Puff Daddy and the Family no album, No Way Out, No Way Out, and I bought the. Costco fucking censored version. I'm like, what? Oh, oh, and like they don't sucks. carry the fucking studio version, yeah, right? That's yeah. So Walmart, bad. Oh, Canada, man. that's why you had to go to the states to get all this stuff. Oh, was I was so choked. That is the man. worst. That is the worst. I've like heard. even like movies. I saw Goodfellas, right? And no swearing, and it was like, no, I'm not watching this. This wow. is dumb. Yeah, really? How do you watch that movie? It must be silent. Yeah. Yeah. No, because the, it's just. Like the edited spike, versions. Spike, Spike will not Mother have chicken. it, or like movie time will. Yeah, I remember, movie time's legit. Yeah. That's I hate what. when edited they like versions. replace words with yeah. it. Yeah, oh yeah, dude, it's horrible. Have you yeah. seen the the behind the scenes when they had to edit Scarface for cable TV for television? Yeah. They no, were no, pretty done. creative. Was man. it? Yeah, man. They were like instead of like the the line where he's like. Like the whole America is like a pussy waiting to get fucked. Oh, really? And then they change it to like a, like a chicken waiting to get plucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's pretty creative. <laughs> I was quoting a movie. The more the, the more budget that you have, the better that you can have like a version, right? <laughs> they have to, like, they have to hire like, like sound alikes and everything too. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyways, let's move on to the next new release coming up. Uh, I want to touch on this. Is the mystery pack of the Jordan Nine yeah. the, the baseball glove, dude? How do you guys feel about this format? I know format what they're going great. for. Format great. Shoes shitty. Format awesome. What's the I, I don't format? Care, I don't care about the shoe. You, you know the story honest. about it give is, me the, right? Give me the it's, heads it's, up. They're trying to recreate like the fucking bubble gum pack baseball yeah. card feel, right? So Where you open it up, you do? don't know what you get. It's blind. It's yeah. a, oh, it's a nice. black I like that. bag. Sweet. Blind bags. And then you open you know it up and you have... Yeah. yeah it's either the brown pair or the black pair. You don't know what you're going to get. Sweet. That's cool. But the brown pair is more rare. And it, right. no, they, they you're gonna go. like get the pack, and you don't know what you're gonna get, right? So it, it, it's supposed to be a blind box saying uh, on the box the color code will say multicolor, multicolor, multicolor. And when you open it, the box you'll get a sealed black bag. You can't see through it. And then once you open the bag, then you will realize if you have the black or the the brown pair. Hmm, yeah. um, Do you get uh, bubble gum with it? No. I, I hope so. No, you don't. I sure. Hope so. <laughs> Cracker a jacks. big giant stick of it. Maybe when whole, you buy it, you the should whole buy box a pack is of bubble gum. gum. Um, I know the shoe itself is it's a Jordan Nine, so. Um, Automatically, the silhouette is not really my type of shoe. Premium, but it's pre- the price is premium. I'll give yes. them that. But um, the the shoe itself, whatever. Like we all have our opinions. It's a, it's a it's a nice uh, kind of way to. Why do they choose that silhouette? Because that's his baseball year, isn't it? Is it yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. Is it, he, yeah, he retired yeah. uh, when the he was in retirement when the tens came out, as far as I remember. Mm. So the nines, I guess, is when he. Yeah, I guess so, because they made the Baron 9s for them. Um, So that is the way they're releasing it. The shoe is whatever, but that's besides the point. How do you guys feel about the release tactic? Of, yes, of, I like of it. It's cool. You should, uh, we, you know, off the, you mentioned kind of like what we were just talking about a second ago. But What's that? 
um, you know, limiting one of the colors within mm. it and then yep. making it a little bit more like Willy Wonka kind yep. of style. And I think in terms of this pack, I only looked at it very uh, quickly because I'm not interested at all. But I think as uh, Pierre was saying while we were dealing with the technical issue that the brown one's more rare and it's actually got number 35 on the back of it because uh, he, he played in like only a handful, maybe one or two games with Phoenix's Farm Club. And he had to wear a different number for that. Oh, so I it's, see, yeah. it's like rare on rare on rare, like the Jordan number 12 jersey. Oh, I see. This yeah. kind of thing. So it's super rare. But yeah, like uh, like you were getting at, I'd, I'd appreciate more kind of surprise releases like that, as long as the colorway and the silhouette are sweet. You think mm. that's going to happen more often if this is a success? It'd a be success? great. And then what oh, we were so. talking about is that there are retailers out there saying that they're, you know, super happy with this is because the second, you know, the people who are trying to get the rare pair, they're going to open up to find out what they have. Mm-hmm. And the second they do that, final sale, it's over. You can't return it. No, yeah. you can buy a Nike and return it, though. I don't know. Oh, you mean open, the, open, open, the, open, open the blind yeah, bag? Yeah, probably not. Okay, I didn't even think of that. But it, it's well, a but I, I'd it's appreciate a tough it. I can't even take anything. Online, you can wear you it and return it. You probably send it back. Oh, yeah. I don't think so. I wouldn't do it if I were Nike. If, if it's open, you're fine. You're not Nike, though. They have a, a fucking. Because you can wear with that go. Like, like anything that's open boss, would that go factory? Or outlet, that would go straight outlet, to the outlet. outlet. <laughs> that's how. So maybe. I you mean, can actually wear your Nike shoes and return it, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I wore my. Bread 11s for almost 18 months and then returned them. Yeah, man. You're like that. Wow. Uh, I, 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 I don't know, oh, man. It, it's kind of... How sweet would that be? I'm the type that likes to look at every single detail before I buy a shoe, even for the flaws. So Jordan 11 low, blind How pack. do you do that with some of your shoes? <laughs> I open it and look at them. What do you <laughs> but, how, but how do you... What do you mean you look at them? I look at them before, before you buy them. Like I go to the counter and I look at them. If I don't like the exact quality of the pair, I ask them to swap. How many shoes have you bought online without knowing what? I don't they buy shoes online, like. to be honest. And well, yeah, you do. Very rarely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I do the same thing. You get burned once or twice with uh, I've been the, the, the four. The last shot fourteens are the reason why I look at every pair I get, even if it's a pair that's been set aside for What's me. What's the worst case scenario that you get? Because I don't. I got two left shoes. Jordan left. Oh, okay. Oh. And I've got two left shoes. Before. Stage before that. Stage after that. Those, la- those last shot fourteens. I looked at at least six pairs at Metro Town and three pairs in the states the same day they came out, and fingerprints on the midsole paint. And do we have any 14s nearby that I could see real quick? I guess also the B-Trues that just came out, the racers. On the instep of those 14s, there's a little metal grate for ventilation. And each one of them looked like someone had jammed a pencil eraser into it. And it was all dented and caved and no, crinkled wow. up. Yeah, really? So I fucking I didn't get them. And I, I kind of regret because we haven't They'll seen come them out yet. Again. But if they come back and remastered for them even close to that uh, DMP or championship play mm-hmm. pack, last shot pack... So that. is that something that a must do every time? You should. As much you, as you can. I mean, they're se- Responsib- us responsible. Yeah. I mean, they're making, they'll make 750,000 to a million pairs of these 11s yeah. that are coming out around the holidays. Take a look at them and find yeah. out if there's a smear of That's blue. true, because here's the If thing. you have a chance, at least take a look at if them. You, yeah. The, the thing, I guess the thing is, is like you come back, you, find, you go home, you come back, and you say, hey, this is wrong, they'll... You're, Probably, you're, you're, you might be sold out. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, get you're not going to do anything. There's one more thing I want to kind of talk about, and That's it's it. kind of relevant and, uh, for a couple of reasons. And that is, uh, last week we finally, finally got a chance in Canada to download and start using mm, yeah. the Adidas confirmed app. Yeah. Mm. And this is relevant also because of the timing is because we heard of that uh, hacking incident allegedly in china, in china right yeah. so some a, a bunch of quote-unquote hackers were able to secure themselves 80 pairs allegedly of zebras and they went to pick uh, I don't know, go watch the video it's fucking it's crazy stupid. um there's so many questions i want answered with that with what happened there but uh, that's besides the point i want to talk about the confirm map so is this a good look going forward for buying uh, adidas hyped sneakers what do you guys it's think? just raffle 2.0 is it not it, it eliminates the footwork yeah but it sucks for people that don't live in metro cities you know what i mean but like, it makes it super you have to easy be within a certain area but right? you wouldn't At be a certain time you wouldn't be going to do the footwork quote i guess unquote. if you're in calgary you wouldn't drive to vancouver to enter right. raffles is and what like I, what they're, they're starting to yeah. expand like i've seen you go on to some raffles for out of town places yeah. yeah, you're the king of that. Stop tagging. What? <laughs> oh, oh, that's what you mean. Just but I'm saying, like, I, I'm all for it. I'm all yeah. for it. And that, like, uh, that con- alleged hack or whatever, yeah. 
I don't know if I buy it because what retailer is actually going to fork out the 80 pairs? Okay, that's the thing. I, I, I don't know how, how mm. in depth you want to talk about this, but how did two people right. uh, go up and show up over and over and right. pick up 80 pairs? <laughs> Mustache, Second of all, glasses. how did two people allegedly Can. handle and carry <laughs> 80 pairs? And, and third of all, what was their exit strategy yeah. really? They didn't think about it. They were like... Like it's it's an office space where like they they planned to hack, yeah, and then they didn't realize like, that they, didn't, they didn't have an exit strategy. Like that just that falls on alone, so many like eighty pairs. That's so I'm many that. that's liabilities. Pairs, like yeah. first of all, like what store yeah. would be like? Oh, you again? You got really lucky. Yeah. Here's <laughs> another two pair. Like what was going on there? Well, maybe by have disguises. That's, yeah, that's, dude, that's, that's mustache <laughs> glasses. Like, Asian with a mustache. Who is believe it? Who is Homer? I don't know who is Homer. My name is in. Cognito. My name is Mr. Bruce. Yeah. But like, well, but maybe that's why on the fourth, fortieth visit, <laughs> these guys are like this. Wait a minute, right now They're, it's like thirty-eight. Yeah. And shame on me. <laughs> the, the guys that like samples at a Costco, just like thank you, yeah. uh, comes around. Thank you. Free is free though. Yeah. One thing about that video though, that's they did it, the, the stomp game that those guys were doing to them it wasn't even like it was a wrestling stomp I know I was like <laughs> I saw an open the ropes. dude I saw an open face slap <laughs> a couple of times I saw knuckles that are going like this like a oh man a couple of really, European uppercuts yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some flailing but it, it, like there are many suspect uh, shenanigan ish mm-hmm. aspects to that video, but it is what it is. But did not, you try the app at all? Like when nothing's released, I scrolled through it, it a right? little bit. It's like I saw one Toronto release. Oh right? yeah, you know, that was we, it. There wasn't really get to an opportunity ask Paul about it. I guess because it's no. gonna affect his store, right? Because it'll affect him that he'll have way more time not emailing motherfuckers all night. Yeah, that's I know. true. Because yeah. I think it's all handled within the app or whoever is in charge of the app. It's not. Um, I don't think it's designated to the store itself to handle the the selection pro, uh, process. Yeah. Of, Maybe of there's the a wins. wizard behind the counter or the curtain who just sees all the names and then just prints off a label. I, I hope get so. a pair. Maybe a note that says this is a preferred customer, Pierre Amador. Wow. What are you trying to say? I don't are know. Are you exposing yourself No, I'm just saying. I'm we just love saying. Adidas. We love Paul. There, I've we heard, love confirmed. I've heard stories <laughs> where like... The more interesting your name is, the better that you have chances of getting picked. Sorry, um, Joe. <laughs> is that true? No. Giuseppe. Yes. I am now Giuseppe. I, I, like, I if, you're, if you what? go, Spaghetti Bob. I was like, oh, shit. I, I want to see what I this motherfucker really? looks yeah, like. I want to see, this guy. <laughs> I this see what this Spaghetti Bob, Bob looks like. I'm going to make no, him win. I'm... Fuck Spaghetti Bob. Seriously. Fuck I, I've heard of this thing I'm as like, a... It's, it's, it's true. Are you one of these people that no. if you sign up for a papal uh, raffle, you put it into an accordion because it'll float at the top? <laughs> yeah, no. If that's true, then like I'll change my name to like Pretty Face Lucy. No, but you have you ha- you you ha- need to have ID for that, right? Like Same I'll change my name. Bob. <laughs> if, if it means up my <laughs> good luck, explain that to Jamie when she has to take your last name, uh, Lucy. <laughs> but uh, Jamie Lucy. But now that we uh, kind of hypeless Joe. I'm hypeless. <laughs> yeah. like, he doesn't even need these. Yeah, no, Forget him. But uh, but according to this alleged story, the every app is hackable. Yeah. So how do you guys feel about the the security of you know making things as fair as possible? Well, this has been released this, in the states already, right? Yeah, confirmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and we've this is the only time that we've, that we've heard, heard of like yeah. any breach of. But of then the actual Asians are crazy in hacking. So. <laughs> yeah. they farm gold all day, <laughs> so is and then they hack some apps. That's all it is. Farm gold. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Farming gold. <laughs> no. yeah, it seems oh, yeah. the Russians are better at hacking right now. <laughs> Allegedly, according to Trump. <laughs> okay, um, I'll, I'll talk to you later about movies. Wrong. So. Um, <laughs> it eliminates the legwork for us. Eliminates the the staff involvement in the raffle process. So that's a thumbs up for me. But that also means there will probably be potentially ten times more people that are going to be entering raffles. Mm-hmm. So our odds going to be shittier. Yeah. Plus, dude, it, you know what I mean. And and that whole and you know, motherfuckers got like multiple names, multiple apps, and ways to fucking have multiple yeah, entries too. That's, that's the I only problem. Well, like, we'll see. Like sneakers app. Like some then motherfuckers. Well, I mean, ultimately, robots. you still have to have one person right? show yeah. up with ID. So then, or two people number. for eighty pairs. You know, that's, that's what I mean. Yeah. You know the most pictures that I see is like the, the most annoying ones is when someone has five or six mobile cell phones and they all say congrats you've you've been confirmed 
and it's like some guy flexing over like five, six cell phones. They probably screenshot and just shared the picture or threw it on his mobile. Yeah, maybe. but still, it still makes you suspect about it. Like anything. Everything that- is suspect. How can some motherfuckers be so lucky to have want- multiple wins every Eugene, single Give release? me peace of mind. I just want peace of mind. It's going to be as fair as it gets, but it also be your odds will probably go down when it comes to winning. Is that the main concern that we have, or is, are we losing the whole aspect of camping out, meeting people? And- Beltman. Beltman I, no I don't, more. No more. Okay, we haven't had this? a Beltman in, like, what, in eight months? <laughs> Since Black Friday. Yeah, right? <laughs> but when, when, when we're talking about, like, camping out for shoes anymore, would any of you guys still go to campouts on a Friday night into a Saturday morning? Probably not. Or Thursday night uh, into Friday into Black a Saturday? Black Cement 3s, I would. No, you wouldn't. I'm telling you, man. You would never camp out again. Your campless Ooh. Joe. <laughs> no. Campless Joe. <laughs> no. <laughs> you developed that app, you right? Would, you would go? You would? For you Black would. Cement 3s? I mean, we went and looked and assessed the situation for... You gave up pretty quickly. Breads. I'll give you that. I had a chair. Did you have a chair? Yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't, you yeah, fucking liar. Right they're, inside, <laughs> they're inside my car. <laughs> attached to the frame. But um, I it's don't know, It's a good man. time. Come- Camping out for those Air Max 1s was awesome for the few hours. Shit, you did camp. Did one of you guys take a picture of that wicked tent? Camp out chair. Yeah, I did. That was me. And, yeah. like Walmart. You have four of those. No problem. Well, That's one. a pod squad chair? Pod squad. Nice. And the tent. A little easy up. Okay. okay. There you go. Perfect. So, We're camping out. Black cement threes. You, we, we called it. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> See you guys confirming there. Confirming on our pod yeah. app. Let's go right now. Um, I don't know. Let's just wrap it up, man. We're getting way You're off topic. You're not going to do three times space jams for those? <laughs> Seven times space jams. Eight Why times. But I had problems getting Space Jam. Finish. <laughs> <laughs> space Jam was not as easy as How did you get yeah. your Space Jam? Did you win a raffle? or I did win. No, uh, Jamie won a raffle under my size. Yeah. I lost every single raffle and she won one. Fuck. Same with Royals, too. Send she a pretty girl. Me. Send a pretty girl. Yeah, she has an interesting takes. name. <laughs> it was like, how do you spell Jamie? Like, that? I gotta see this. Because it's spelled all fucked up, right? Spaghetti Bob, guys. <laughs> Spaghetti Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's just bing. wrap it up. We're at the two-hour mark as what? usual. Really? Son of a bitch. I'll edit it down. Talk don't about anything. <laughs> no, we talked about a lot. <laughs> Any, everything that's off schedule. But anyways, anything else you want to add before we start closing up this biatch? Mm. Did we even forget anything that you want to talk about? I don't know. Uh, anyone that's listening, still listening? Fuck, man. Like, no one's listening. Congratulations. <laughs> you made it through <laughs> yeah. a tough one. Um, Dude, we have some loyal listeners, man. It's we not that, man. Everything we talked about was, was yeah. crazy interesting to me anyway. Yeah. And that's I thought we had a good conversation going. It's just that I don't like to schedule anything. I don't like to pinpoint all the fucking topics of discussion because that's boring to me. I don't want to schedule a show. I just want to get in here and have a conversation see where it organically flows. That's yeah. interesting. Most of the time, I've done some research where at their cars with them while they're driving to or from work. Careful. Careful, yeah. yeah. And uh, look out! No, <laughs> don't do that. Hey, uh, what, are, what are we getting for food right now, buddy? <laughs> I'm talking to the guy driving. Oh, that's right. And nice. I like that. Yeah. Well, what do you feel like eating? You are now. Getting What's for sleepy. lunch? Uh, Jack. Jack and Bucks. You guys are, are making this really heavy. hard for me. To edit. Hi, Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're talking to them. What's Your for eyes. lunch, Brooke? <laughs> Wow, you're getting sleepy. <laughs> Don't Anyways, get sleepy. <laughs> uh, a few, uh, a few housekeeping shit, and then we'll close it up. Um, shout out to all our loyal listeners. Wow. Thank you. Um, if you have any show <laughs> suggestions, please let us know. You can find us blah 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 on our social media, um, blah, blah, blah. Twitter at sneakerfiles, on Instagram at sneakerfiles underscore podcast, and shout out to our uh, sneaker sister podcast out there. We got sneaker box. Podcast uh, out Monday of Sneaker Bar in Detroit. Yes, we got the Monday Mid Show Mid Soul on YouTube Monday nights uh, eight PM Eastern, and we got Soul Food Sneaker Talk Wednesday nights eight Eastern. Yeah, what did I just say? Did I do it right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also on YouTube, I actually uh, join. I actually joined their chats pretty much throughout the entirety of the show. So if you see me on the chat, just say hi. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll be nice and not uh, trying to contribute. So that's the best thing about those uh, those two YouTube shows is that they're interactive. You can type hmm. in and they're live and everything. So super interesting. Uh, check those guys out. And uh, anything else you guys want to add before we uh, bounce? Hmm. I don't know. I want to add something, but I think we we covered it all. To we covered more than enough. Yeah. Event so, was good last week. And for the Sneaker Files podcast, I'm Eugene, Joe, Jason. This is Pierre. Happy hunting, guys. <laughs> <laughs>